Hey, Marco, you ready for the totally awesome, coolest show ever? Oh, yeah, Pete. Let me tell you. We're going to cover wrestling today. The real wrestling. The cream of the top type wrestling. That's what we're going to cover in the tier list. So, yeah. Am I ready? Of course I'm ready. Just like when you put the... Tw- well, we can't say that anymore, can we now? Okay. <laughs> Some of those tag teams had some very interesting nicknames that you can't like, <laughs> can't say anymore. Nikki, if you say in the first little bit of YouTube, you might. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, sorry we're late. We're just uh, doing a little bit <coughs> house cleaning behind the scenes. Uh, I hear that somebody's a little bit riled up. That's okay. Hey, we got an interesting show. Obviously, we're going to cover uh, wrestling toys. Pretty much, uh, I bullied Pete, and we're going to cover toys that I like. Uh, so that's the end of that. <laughs> Um, in the meantime, we got like a pretty very, tough. we've got a very interesting, um, we have a very interesting, uh, under the radar this week. I hope you enjoy it. I spent way too much time on it. We also probably talk about a couple of the books that came out this week. Ugh, good Lord. Um, and don't blame me for that list. I didn't listen before Pete starts. I'm going to cut him off real quickly. It's not like I'm the guy who like wrote the books. This week, it's not like I'm the guy who put them in the solicitations this week or the guy that dropped them off to the stores this week. I'm just the guy that says, yeah, people are buying these books. Let's review them. Okay. So I have nothing to do with that. So he cannot blame me for the books we're going to review this week. Um, What else are we going to get at? Also, we'll we'll probably talk about X Men 97 because there were also the books that came out this week. My favorite. I told you it was going to happen. Blame you. I'm just going to get these anyway. Uh, We won't spoil X Men 97, but if, uh, if you. If you're a betting man, uh, you should always bet bet on me. That's all I'm gonna say. Or bet on black. Well, I'm wearing a black shirt. There you go. All right. <laughs> Let's say hi to the chat real quickly. GT Key Comics. Uh, thumbs up. Hi. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Marv. Good evening, comics fam. What's up, Marv? Anyway, follow GT Key Comics on IG. Uh, Insta- hey, AOA. It's good to see you posted on Instagram uh, when I check weekly. And I also saw that you got a package from the boys over at SNS. Make sure you check it out, SNS. Uh, Dub, here we go. Dub, Instagram, blah, 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 blah. Hey, this is me. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't send anything to that because I don't, except for the IG. You can send stuff to the IG because I, I didn't go there. Let's say anything. Uh, Joe, what's good? Hope you all got your Ford sh- short <laughs> shorts. <laughs> I need to read these before I start reading them. Hope you all got your Ford short shorts on tonight. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. All right. Hey, everyone. Let's have another great show. We will, Matthew. Thank you very much. Oh, what is going on with my bargain comics? This is bullshit. Uh, I can't wait all night while Pete and Marco swim in the bathtubs full of YouTube money and then finally decide to start the show. Yeah, I mean, it was nice. This uh, I, I add a little bit of lavender to that bathtub while I'm swimming in my like money. Your uncle's cruise, right? They yeah, just absolutely. dive in and just like go swimming all the way through it. Like yeah, a pool. I, you're funny, funny, Steve. Funny. <laughs> All right, uh, Eric, what's good? Shit, I gotta share something with Eric. Um, I think I could share this. Eric has done uh, some color for one of uh, uh, for our store exclusive for Scarlet, uh, the Scarlet number one. We'll probably just show that. I mean, he's been a fan of ours for a while, so I will share that with you just now. Oh, yeah, now or today. probably next week, I'll share that with you guys. Um, Sticks Tag Team back again. Checking the record. Wait, wait, that's not what it says. Oh, yeah, it does. This check to the record, Lau. Let's begin. Oh, I was going to see that anyways. <laughs> Good job. Uh, yo, Joe. Uh, Bar. What's up, Bar Lord? Bar Lord. Yeah, hey. Sorry. What's up? Bar Lord. Uh, hey, y'all. Let's, I like it doing it that way. Dry J. <laughs> I like your ear. You're to join the Brothers of Destruction. <laughs> oh, speaking of the Brothers of Destruction. Marco is pumped and dumping the John's verse books. Is what is that? John's verse books is the ghost machine stuff. Oh, the ghost machine. Oh, I actually right. like. I mean, look, bro. Oh, Jeff, John. I see. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're whatever. Read them; they're good. Uh, happy Wednesday, Craig Don X. Happy Wednesday, uh, Sarath. Sarath, what do we got? Sub all. Hope everyone has a good night. I don't know how many more videos I can watch. I, of those police, like the police puppet ones. I love them though. I'll watch them all, dude. It's hilarious. <laughs> all right. Um, 
Let's go. Oh, here's Sticks' thing on Instagram too. Thank you, AOA. Thank you for all your hard work. Um, let's get duck news. News. Yeah, right. Oh, I didn't do that. All right. Let me get the thing going. No news. No news. Okay. Uh, no no news. news is good news. Oh, dang. Well, I'll give Dove a second to get it going. Okay. I think, I think I'm right. All right. Let me get it. Yes, it worked. All right, your weekly news. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, no. There you go. Sweet. That's yep. cool. Great news, yep. Yeah, I appreciate everybody that subs. Just remember right, that you subs, for, so you don't have to check uh, if you're subbing. All right, here we go. Having, some, having technical difficulties. Sorry about that. <laughs> no Ooh. worries. All right, so we're going to start off with this story that I was sent today. Um, about this, this, this guy right here, this, this guy, I mean, he kind of looks like Pat McAfee's <laughs> uncle. His name is, um, <laughs> what's his name? His name is Chris Cox. So Chip Not Cox, huh? C-O-X. No, he's probably the, the traditional way. Yeah, Chip Cox, CEO that. of Hasbro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chip Cox. Cox. He's the Hasbro CEO. You know, he he's cares a, he's about. He's also, he's also a big D&D guy. I mean, he, he. Came from the Dungeon and Dragons world, which he's made- been playing since he was like twelve years old. Yeah, so mm-hmm. he he yeah he loves the D and D, and his name is Chris Cox. Um, <laughs> uh, so he had a long it's interview. All kind of jokes just laying there, but right? Gonna, yeah. I'm just leave them there. Leave them all in your head, right? They're all mm-hmm. just right there for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so he don't softballs. He answered a bunch of questions. Uh, he had an interview about the fiftieth anniversary of Dungeons and Dragons. And they are celebrating this by trying to sell you, sell you a bunch of stuff. Of and then he, of course, you know, touched on some other things about reaction from fans. and some It wasn't a touchdown. <laughs> the person who I heard the interview live, and this is what I got to you. It was actually pretty funny because I've been saying this is kind of like the way that people are going. And Dom has always rejected this. And unfortunately, we don't have Dom on this week to try to explain to him what's going on here. But um the interviewer kept trying to pressure the fact that if you recall, we had an article a couple months ago, how maybe D and D fans weren't so happy that they were trying to sell, like charge a licensing fee. If you created like Mm. add-ons to their game. Right. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they backtrack on that. And the uh, interviewer seems like they had great knowledge of being a dork too, and playing the biggest dork game there is out there. D and D. Okay. Just like Pete. So, they kind of were hitting at it more and more and saying, like, did you buckle because of fan pressure? And, like, is it that big of a deal? And the guy said, we have something called a net happiness index. So you could be the loudest loudmouth in the place. But guess what? If you don't play D&D and if you don't buy D&D, he didn't say it like this. We don't care if the players who are purchasing our product, if our net happiness index is like, yeah, he didn't say they don't care. He said, like, we take that into consideration, but it doesn't really adjust how we make decisions. If, and I think we're going to see a lot of translate this. translate into your own. Yeah. yeah. If, if you, if you're spending money and you like the product, it doesn't matter if you're a social media person, like an influencer, or if you are just like some curmudgeon, then we will actually take your opinion seriously. As in, hey, you're right. We probably shouldn't license those products. We're not going to do it. But the other stuff, Get, get the bleep out of here. He doesn't care. And it's kind of a smart move. And I think we're going to start seeing more people like that. Now, with that being said, he also addressed the fact of laying off people, laying off maybe some people that he didn't say were gatekeepers, but were like he said flat out. We had, they because they asked, they're like, well, how could you say your product's going to be better without a thousand people? And he said, listen, we, because they laid off a thousand people, because we had some people that were duplicate jobs and we had other people who weren't fitting the, uh, the like this part of the narrative that they want to do division yeah yeah where they really want to sell stuff he says and here's the problem if our product is doing well then those are the elements we're going to keep doing and i think it's very interesting because you know somebody brought up on our sunday show about a guy named chuck wingo and the guy got canceled because of bots he did they didn't do they didn't have a happiness index and i don't think they've had a happiness index Happiness uh, index yeah, whatever. Net happiness, happiness index, whatever the hell it calls it. Net happiness. What yeah, net happiness. 
Net they didn't satisfaction have... is what he said, but yeah. Yeah, whatever. But no, there was a point where he did say, yeah, net satisfaction. But then he did say, yeah, happiness index was like something else. It's a combination of the two, I guess. But like, I think that's the route it's going to go. So it doesn't matter. Like all these, like all the sites that we know our, our, our friend that we love, Dom, that loves, like, honestly, none of them matter. And you, and you see, and he talked about the profitability on how those sites and those people didn't translate. Those blogs didn't translate to sales. And these people run companies. They don't care anymore. I mean, like they care about what the fans are going to do, but if dungeon, what's dungeon and dragons? Like what's, is it dice con or something where they, they what, what's the big oh, rollout oh, board yeah. game thing? They're called. Yep, not Gen Con. Whatever Thank it you. is, but whatever they roll out their products at these things and they instantaneously sell out. And the feedback is probably in the 75% positivity. They don't care. Any, and, and to be honest, should they? I mean, if they're making money, what do they care? Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that's that's pretty much what he's saying, and like, there, it, and it's the well, people. No, he's not, it wasn't. Stuff. It wasn't about the money, though. He actually was saying like the feedback he's getting from people who are purchasing the product. Right, but it's the people that are buying the product that yeah, the feedback that he's cared about. That yeah, he cares about yeah. Their sale numbers are fine, and the feedback that he's getting from the people who are buying the product, their happiness index, that <laughs> happiness, <laughs> what the fuck ever that shit is, yeah. is. Is doing well, and I think that's probably where you should. Uh, shit, if some of these comic book fucking people would take the net happiness index of the people buying their comic books, is it Dragon Con? Well, he, there's a couple different ones. Saying, he, yeah. He might know. Yeah. But I, I'll tell you this: if Marvel would go out to the people that do a survey of the happiness index of some of the crap they put out, I bet you we get a different product. I guarantee you that. Um, All right. This so. is thirty seconds late, but remember, please watch your language. Uh, yeah. My bad, my bad. Yeah. No, 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 no. Anyway, it wasn't corp. It wasn't just that. He explained it that it wasn't just corporate profit. <laughs> that it that it was like that they have seen an uptick, but they're focusing more on the people who because he said that. Um, well, I mean, how else is a company or a business like this supposed to <laughs> gauge their fan interest? Is by them spending money on the products. So right. yes, part of it is if they're <sighs> buying it, then it must be working. Like and by the way, he wasn't just on D&D. He then transitioned because the, I mean, the, it was, if you get a shot, listen to the interview because the interviewer was not pulling punches. Cause then they're like, Hey, uh, you know, you know, y'all got downgraded when you guys decide to make more of the magic. Cause they also hold magic cards. Do you think that was a bad decision? Cause they were flooding the market with it. Yeah. Yeah. He goes, dude, you think he, like flat funny. out, like he was not holding back. And Mr. Cox here goes, well, actually, if you look at it, we got upgraded back. Afterwards, it turned out because the people who were buying them, sure, they weren't, you know, they're reprints, so they're not buying for the rarity. But the people who were buying it were casual players, and they were players that are trying to get into magic and they don't want to get in at a $600 buy. Which, I, look, man, what he's makes also makes sense. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> it makes sense, dude. I mean, I wish I would have heard this before. I would have bought some stock in this shit because, like, I should have just bought stock when they fired uh, Bartles and James. That was the best decision they've ever made in their entire life. <laughs> it was. But like it was, it's very interesting to hear him talk because when you see it, and you get kind of get the per, you get the perspective of him, and it's not a, it's not an infomercial. Like a lot of these times when you get CEOs in there, it's like, hey, Mister Cox, can I? Yeah, here can't say that. I'm not gonna say that because that's gonna come off very bad. And then if I say that, somebody's gonna clip it. But like, can I? Um, pull, nope, not gonna use that nope, word either. Nope. Yep. <laughs> can I kiss your butt? Can I kiss your butt? Uh. And this one wasn't the whoever it was that was interviewing him definitely seemed to be a fan and definitely was not letting it like the question about this happiness index got brought up two to three times. Like they came back to, they readdressed how they asked it, but they came back to it about like toxic fandom. And he, and he says like, you know, the newbies like it and the older people like them. And some of the people that are just going to bitch are just going to bitch the bitch, but they're still, you know, they're either going to buy our product or like, it's not going to make a dent. And yeah, they're, they're not, they're not spending money anyway. Yeah, which is very interesting. So glad you got this news article in there. Good job, Dub. Uh, no problem. I just wanted to point out, just to remind everybody, that this is the CEO of Hasbro, and his name is Chris Cox. CEO yeah. of Hasbro. 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 Cox. Cox. Yeah. We'll talk a little bit more about Hasbro later in the news. I got a bunch of uh, new announcements. Coming well, out, is, so. is Mr. Cox going to be doing some more Hasbro stuff? or um, Not in the news, but uh, he, he should be our spokesman for all the new Hasbro news uh, moving Hasbro forward. Maybe we can make well, now that, that we got rid of Balls and James, Mr. Cox and Hasbro <laughs> probably is going to be 
yeah. uh, the new attack. All right, let's uh, let's let's go on and talk about the box office. Um, let's let's uh, we haven't done this in a while. Why don't you guys uh, get a guess on what the uh, top movie was? No, I don't have to guess this time. You know, I went out. I went out and saw. Um, what did I see? Kung Fu Panda. F- is it four? It was great. Kung Fu Panda four. Yeah, the, uh, the number one movie, I believe. What's the that? number one movie? Yeah, that yeah, was Godzilla's Kong. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, Godzilla, yeah. Godzilla X Kong. Dang, that I wish came I out this last said. weekend. Yeah, couldn't take the kids that. I mean, it it crushed. Like so, the expectations were like around thirty to forty, I believe, and yeah, it took in good. eighty million uh, this weekend. Uh, it knocked Ghostbusters right out of that first <coughs> spot. Um, yeah, Ghostbusters uh, took in the fifteen point six. Dune Part Two still Ooh, hanging in there with there. eleven, and Marco helped uh, pay for that ten point three million in there for Kung Fu Panda Four. I how expensive tickets are. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe you're. I think out of a family of four to go watch the movies, we spent a hundred bucks. Wow, yeah, I believe it. An immaculate. Took that uh, fifth uh, spot. So the 80 million opening for uh, Godzilla was the second best of the year. Only uh, 2.5 million behind Dune Part 2. Internationally, it took in another 114 million. So it's got 194 in its first week weekend. So that's pretty uh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of people saw that. I gotta go see this now. I'm gonna sneak out. I'm gonna. It's spring yeah, break, it's, unfortunately, here. So it's entertaining. That just just be entertained. That's all you're gonna get out of this. I mean, that's, that's yeah. What they've been. That's what they've that's, been. Yeah, if you're going for a Godzilla yeah. movie, that's that's. If you expect more than entertainment, say is it does feel a little more of a Kong movie this time, where Godzilla feels more of a supporting role. I think the last time they focused a bit. Well, yeah, Kong was a little more. He communicates and all that stuff, so it makes more sense that they did that. It was entertaining. It was entertaining. I'm, I was happy to have seen it. Hollow Earth. Yeah. I'll admit that. Right. But if you just suspend disbelief, go for the ride, it was fun. Don't you have to do that with all Kong movies? Well, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. That, go in with the, make it yeah, scientific. Make sure. Yeah. Don't don't expect too much uh, backstory and explanation of anything. Just go in and have fun. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah, this one I'm probably gonna have to check this one out too. Uh, probably after uh, this weekend, I'll be able to go see a movie or something. Um, all right, let's uh move on to some other movie news. This was a big news, uh, I think I heard about this today. Um, uh, yeah, Ruth Langmore will be playing uh, a version of Silver Surfer. Um, so Matt Shackman's directing, and she will be playing Shalabal. Um, a version of Silver Surfer at one point. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I like this actress. That was a smart move putting her in there. So I don't know for um, I don't know like what it's going to be. I'm still hoping to get my original Silver Surfer at some point. But if this is an alternate universe, which it's obviously, it seems to be. And they're making it clear out of, the, out of the outset that that's what they're doing. That's fine. Like, it's another universe. And I'm not going to get too upset about this casting, as I'm sure the internet probably all riled up. And not my Silver Surfer, because, yeah, I get I'm it. A, I'm not going to fake it. I'm not a huge Silver Surfer fan, never have been. So I'm not going to, I don't give a shit. I am. Like, well, if it's girl, yeah. if it's dog, I don't no, care. No, imagine if. If the list, this if they cast Lois Lane oh, as Superman, I agree. I agree. No, I, you know, I don't care. Swapping the gender of the character. They're yeah, I mean, like, is it, well, the well, this is a character though, another, right? Another, was she a character? She was a character. Yeah. She was a Silver Surfer at one time. Yeah. yeah, she was. So and she was the reason. He, well, she and the whole. You know, I know. The whole like, world like, was watching. Now, now we're gonna see every. Per- what's the happiness index on Silver Surfer fans? Can we get a happiness index on Silver Surfer? Because I, 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 I have a feeling there's a lot of non Silver Surfer fans we'll silver that are going to be in the negative index. The they're just going to be like, oh, I'm so butt hurt because there's a. Well, didn't they already say we were getting a female Silver Surfer? I thought we already heard this. Yeah. No, but what that's what I'm getting at. Like, if this is an alternate universe, they can tell whatever story they want. And we don't have to get mad if she doesn't make it out of this. Like, yeah. you know I mean, there's still out story opportunities for them to get you the Absolutely. character that you Give want. Give you the. Real silver. Yeah, you can still wait, hold out hope. But yeah. for now, yeah, they probably the story they're gonna tell. 
yeah. without having to carry all the baggage. <laughs> all That's seven it. of them. All seven of them. Yeah, Joe. Six buddies. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, who's really salty over this? We already knew it was going to be a female, and we already me, like, me. Yeah. Okay, you. Yeah, yeah. AOA, no doubt. I I think she was the best part of that show. I loved Ozark. Yeah, no, she was awesome. She was she so is. good in Ozark. Marco, if you haven't seen it, you should see it. It's so good. Don't watch it with the kids though. Okay. Yeah. I so good it's on Netflix. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about some other casting news on the other side. See, I, don't, hold on now. I don't even think the Taskmaster ish character. That's not really the Taskmaster, really. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't. That's another one. All those huge tat. We're gonna be upset because all you huge Taskmaster fans, like, what the whole one that's ever dressed up in cosplay in the fucking fifty years it's been around. That fan. Okay, let that fan be butt hurt about it, dude. The rest of the people, shut the fuck up. Watch your language in front of the lady, punk. Dang it! Sorry, <laughs> man. Sorry, you got me. Yeah, get all riled up. So this is. <laughs> I love Zaggy. I wish I could put that up there, Zaggy. <laughs> Zaggy, that's hilarious. That is hilarious and a valid point. <laughs> um, he has directed Disney's Cruella, uh, I Tanya, which was the story of uh, Tanya Harding and uh, Nancy Kerrigan. Uh, why? He looks uh, like Christopher Eccleston. Why? He does. Why? <laughs> um, and then he also did that uh, GameStop movie, uh, the stock movie called Dumb Money. That had, I uh, believe. Oh. Wait, hold on. He did the Ner Ker Nancy Kerrigan movie? It was a, I called I, Tanya. Yeah, the Nancy Kerrigan. Yeah. And, Do you know where that took place? Um, well, I know where the attack took place. Where the attack took place? Right here in the great state in of Michigan. 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 Come with that bullshit <laughs> sport. We'll knock your legs off. That's right. <laughs> Got knocked oh, out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll take you out of the Olympics. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Bleed your Olympics, third, bro. Third place. Third place. The H. Yeah. H. She chose American Coney Island over Lafayette. Oh. That's what happens. That's what oh, happens. Yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens. Come that's out here, start running your wrong. Mouth. Absolutely wrong. You never choose American over Lafayette. Not over Lafayette. Lose nope. a knee. Nope. All right. It, it, it it's been long enough, right? We can do that. I, I think so. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's talk about another uh, trailer that we got. Uh, well, we got some posters um, oh. of uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. We got a whole bunch of posters, an IMAX poster, a 4DX poster, a Dolby poster, and then the regular. I'm, I'm behind on this series. I don't even know what number this I is. I am not. They yeah, just... this, is, this is a brand new trilogy. Uh, oh. So it's, it's starting over. Uh, you're going to get a whole new set of movies here. Um, an IMAX exclusive trailer was put out. Um, Wait, so this isn't after they already did the thing with the thing. This isn't. I thought this was. I thought this was like the third arc of the Caesar story. It's a, I think yeah. This is the same. It's whatever a third arc of the Caesar. So but it's, it's a new start trilogy. The, yeah, the new right, arc. Right. Yeah. Okay. I believe so. Yeah. Because the brute. The was it Woody Harrelson was the last. The Woody Harrelson was the last part of the arc, and then they're gonna. Yeah. See, I didn't see that one, but I. That's good. Remember. I actually almost watched it again the other day, but I watched something else instead. So there'll be some early fan screenings. It comes out on the 10th, but there'll be some early fan screenings uh, starting on the 8th, and those tickets are already available, so you can see. Yeah, I think we got a trailer of this when we saw Godzilla, and my son was like, Ooh, how, Oh, so is it, hey, it going to be Caesar's kit? How how old do monkeys... I don't know this question. I'm going to ask you a question of my ignorance. How, how old do monkeys... I don't think that long. 50 They're years? Apes. They're apes? How long do they... Yeah, Sorry. See, the yeah. Apes. I don't think that over 100 years is too long, I think. That, so, that's not, they don't even like to be called apes. Don't they like to be called something sapiens or whatever? I don't know. They don't like to be called monkeys, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I know. They beat the <laughs> shit out of you for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, if you uh, coming out um, in can't May, wait so. for <laughs> You can't wait for uh, Planet of the Apes, Tokyo. <laughs> oh, man. Is that the one how... where the apes start flying a car into play? The card to space, I mean. Bring the bell! <laughs> that comes later. Yeah, right. Um, all right, hey, let's Doc, uh, talk about uh, oh, we'll Planet of the Apes. Oh, Planet of the Apes, okay. Yep. Got to abbreviate everything. Uh, so, we got a poster for Joker 2. Um, fun fact about this movie. Um, Who cares? 
Yeah. Joaquin Phoenix will be the only Joker to reprise his role um, in theaters. Every other. I don't give a shit. As only <laughs> movie. So that's what I, I'm going to give you for this. Uh, for this. Movie. I also heard there's going to be full on nudity in this movie too. So you shut your mouth when you're talking to me. I mean, guess that makes it necessary to yeah. see. I don't know who's. Yeah, I don't we don't know who's gonna yeah, be naked. <laughs> Somebody will be naked. All <laughs> you fans care. of Jacqueline <laughs> Phoenix's Donkler might get a little surprise, but <laughs> so next week, I believe uh, Tuesday, CinemaCon is happening next week, and uh, Warner Brothers is doing their presentation on the ninth. So that's when uh, we're gonna get Simeon as yeah. trailer. So that's what I read, Brian. That's yeah. what I read. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you more uh, details as they develop, Brian. Oof. All right, and then some other uh, news coming from the Warner Brothers side of everything. Yeah, um, right, Jay. It's, you can play some Donkler Kong on that <laughs> third Joker. Uh, the Matrix is coming back. That's right. Uh, whole new movies in the works. Wait, you know what? Uh, this no, is who cares? <laughs> Are you just talking about the anniversary we're showing? Nope. The whole new movie, Drew Goddard, who did The Martian, Cabin in the Woods, and World War Z, um, he like went that. to Warner Brothers and said, hey, um, i got an idea for a new Matrix movie. And they're I like, don't oh. think so, Osborne. And they're going to let him write it and direct it. So that's a thing. That's uh, Drew Goddard right there, in case you didn't know who he was. Yes, I didn't something. either. No, if that something. guy showed up and pitched me anything besides life insurance, I'd be like, no. I'm good. Would you rather get a movie from Chris Cox? <laughs> Cabin in the Woods wasn't bad. I didn't well, really care for World War Z, but I, I thought the, the book World War Z was a lot better than the movie. Unfortunately, I know people yeah, I didn't like say the, the, I know they always say that. But no, no, that's one hundred percent true. I like, yeah, the book was really yeah, the really movie was not, way much better. Movie. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, yeah. Pete. Yeah, Pete. Yeah. You have anything else? No. Yeah. We cut oh. you off, and then you don't have anything to do. Okay, cool. No, you really cut me off. Right. Like, well, yeah. I mean, I don't, do. You, do we really? I thought the Matrix is one of those things that's fine. Just leave it alone. Just don't. Touch yeah, it. I mean, they made another one, and they keep making yeah. new ones. Yeah, we so just I needed mean, one. Oh well, that one doesn't count. So you've already had your mess up. That's your free mistake. So don't do any more. You already had which were three. And didn't was it called Matrix before. Reloaded X or some stupid shit? I don't like that. care. I like the first one, and I liked about the first ten to fifteen minutes of the second one, yeah. and then. You know, after that first fight scene in the second one, that the scene in the club, the Merovingian, and they had to fight, and then that's about it. Freeway, the freeway was good. The freeway, why, okay, the freeway. Was hold good. on, why that's is AOA? Just, why is AOA just, just got a counter of new uh, ball shots of Joaquin Phoenix? I don't need those either. Yeah, <laughs> Pete <laughs> is afraid. I don't need to see those. Wow. I, I nope. What's no, up, Arizona Comics? All right, and that's our uh, big screen news. Let's talk. A we got a couple streaming bits. Was he doing the goat from waiting. Was yeah. It, uh, yeah, wasn't on? late. Wait, hold on. Jared what? Leto was in two movies, wasn't he? Is it fucking Joker. I... Ooh, 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 I think he got ooh, cut out. Ooh. One of them. I think what we should he... double check the stats. He, he was. In... He was in. He was in Suicide Squad, and he was that's in it. Suicide Squad. Was he yeah, I guess the only one he was oh, he in. got cut out of the other one. He got cut out of. Was he cut out of the of Batman? The bat, the one where Batman goes into the future. Batman wow. future. Somebody look it up. Yes, Somebody who's got yes, a wrench, look yes. it up. They, yeah, they cut all those those scenes okay. of the nightmare world, the dreams. And Batman versus Super. Yeah. Yes, he no. did play it, and he was in there for oh. a long while. If we went with that cut, but they cut that. Oh, if you watch the Snyder Cut, maybe he was in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That wasn't in that theaters. Cut. It was theater. Oh, okay. Fair I didn't enough. make it. He didn't make it. All right. Not make all right. Okay. Uh so this is a bit of interesting news. Uh so Paramount's been trying to Huge get ones. sold. And so this company <laughs> yeah. called Good point, Marv. Good yeah, point. There you go. Good yeah. point. Who cares? That's a very legitimate statement. That is. Um Hold on. so Sherry Red Who cares? He's right. He's right. Yeah, yeah, he's right. Um so Basically, this all I'm saying, letting you know here is Paramount is making a deal to get sold. There's been attempts of different companies to buy 
pieces of Paramount, the studio, the streaming, the um, the networks, and you know different groups have tried to buy parts of it. This might be a whole uh, sale to Skydance Entertainment, who's already partnered with with uh, Paramount in making movies like Mission Impossible and stuff. They're the ones do, do, do. behind that. So <coughs> does Tom so, Cruise own Skydancer? No, it's this woman <coughs> Sherry Redstone. Is that her family owns it? Oh, it's called National Amusements, and they have like eighty percent stake, a uh, voting stake in Paramount. So, well, she's if they sell it, you know, yeah, exactly. So she wants to sell her portion into uh, to Skydance. So, mm-hmm. so anyway, Paramount might get sold soon. We might hear some actual news about that more. Uh, but I kind of wanted to drop this in there because I read it today. Yeah. Um, Jeremy, what's showtime? Yeah. Right. So we've talked about John Berenthal before, and here is what he gave us uh, this week. He gave us a little picture of what him and Charlie Cox and uh, Deborah Ann Wall. There's a lot of Cox in the news today. There <laughs> are. There are. Usually there's only this one, and then now there's multiples today. Yeah, this one's with an X, though, so we got a lot of different flavors. With that and the Joaquin Joker, we, it's, all, it's all, we've all gone the wrong way today with the news. All right, let's try to let's try to straighten some things out here, and let's uh, let's talk about some toys. So we had WonderCon this last weekend, and we got a bunch of announcements from WonderCon. And there was no way that I could cover everything that they released, so I kind of focused on some things. Um, I know you guys love the uh, Master Universe, so we talk about one of these every time something comes out. So this is Mondo's one sixth scale Tila figure. Um, and there's a picture of Tila next to the original Tila figure, so you can see how big it is. It's a timed edition, like Mondo likes to do, so it's probably pre-orders are open for like a week. It opened, I believe, yesterday. Uh, $250 for this Tila with all of these. Is anybody pieces. complaining that her thighs aren't the same as the original toy? Um, I've heard only, I've read only positive comments They're about pretty her thighs. close. Yeah. So they gave her injections up top, so nobody cared about her thighs. I guess. I yeah, yeah just yeah, as thick as she was before. Just, I'm just trying to figure out the nerdum and what they complain about. Trying to get the net happiness meter. That, that happiness meter going on, yeah. <laughs> right? Because this is something they will buy. This well, is somebody's almost... going to complain. Like one of those heads is the Kevin Smith woke version from Netflix. Or mm. something. Hey, I right. would also just to make just a PSA: don't buy this figure if you're an adult and a paneled van. It's a violation in a lot of states. Just to let you know. Well, it's two hundred fifty dollars. Okay. I don't know. I can't recommend that many people buy this because this is a lot of money. I see those with the panel van. It's, it's called Botox. <laughs> now um, she- all right, let's look at this thing here. So, the, for you, um, this is Megan, asking for trouble. Yeah, Megan fans, Megan. I don't know how it's pronounced. Sorry, but this is a one to one scale figure it's four feet tall and it is just under five hundred dollars directly from NECA and it has articulated inner armature movable eyes and synthetic hair nope no good can come from this zero zero good okay if you have this also don't have a hole dug in your basement where you can raise and lower a, no, uh, just don't have this. This there's no no good can come from this. Yeah, also with the panel van thing, you know, that same rule applies. No, tail van's a different one. This is don't have a hole in your in in your basement. Just like an open hole with a wheelie. Stop that saying hole. That goes up and down. <laughs> Trying to balance out all the uh, Cox. all the yeah all the Charlie Cox and not now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, this is scary. I don't know why anybody would want this. This is just creepy as shit. Like, there's no good can come from this. I know one person who is going to buy this, and they're very close to Dub. No, she <laughs> likes this creepy shit. Dude. No, not this. Oh, no, she won't. No, she won't even buy like. She's a huge Saw fan. She won't even buy anything like Saw toy. Nothing. She won't do it. Dude, I, why, she knows better. Why is there? Why did I get that video of her on the tricycle? That's a Halloween like, costume. She wears that like and Halloween. Still creepy as shit, bro. Yes, <laughs> it is. But she doesn't have toys like of that in the house. She knows better. Call, call the police if you. <laughs> <see so. laughs> 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> terrible. Oh, All right, it is Pete size. <laughs> hey, give, give BK the bell. He got it, dude. Oh, Man, there's a lot of fun oh, going on in the chat. Bring him out. Oh, chat is on Damn fire. It. Damn it, BK. Uh, wait. Dang. Zaggy. <laughs> what? He's, he's answering the if you have a hole in your basement question. Oh, oh goodness. Hashtag mud butt. <laughs> Hashtag mud butt. All right, All let's right. move on to some other other things. Yeah. Uh, so here's uh, some Ghostbusters figures. He sucked the first time they came out. And Whoa! They still do. Down. They Does did. another one lose their like hair or something? This was from the animated series, from the real Ghostbusters animated series, not the fake Ghostbusters animated series. No, that happened I'm the same not time. a fan of the cartoon. The cartoon, it wasn't what, the same. What other hair pops up, right? Uh, yeah, I think it still has you all know? the features. Their eyes kind of pop out and stuff, and hair. Yeah, so they can be scared of yeah. their fright features. Mm -hmm. So these are uh, $14.99 each if you would like to uh, um, pre-order them. Cool. Nope, I didn't like these the first time. Here's uh, some Deadpool Legacy figures that are being released. Uh, is that a so unicorn? It is a yeah. unicorn. That is correct. Yeah. Um, Deadpool um, likes unicorns. Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, on his big rubber Ghostbusters, do, 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 do. Um, I believe these figures were released before, oh, but they kind of retooled a little bit uh, to match up with the movie. I think that's a movie costume and such, and same with uh, Logan over there. Sounds like something. Yep, it's definitely something. So keeping on with the Marvel Legends theme uh, presented to you by uh, Chris Cox. This must have a oh was that that was legends right there that must have been a high note were legends and these yeah. are legends as well uh so this was the Iron Man wave that started pre order today actually they announced it Friday and pre orders went live that's uh, a good gen that's a good She Hulk it's a good it's a really good She Hulk figure um there are, I in my opinion there are two good figures in this line uh, these will be great at Ollie's it'll be great at the happiness index I don't yeah. know if She Hulk's gonna make it to Ollie's uh, yeah. hopefully you yeah, can hope but gonna, I don't know. You know I think you're gonna get a lot of you're gonna get a lot of these Iron Mans at Ollie's for sure because yeah, Iron Man this be line has three uh, different Iron Mans. Oh, so there's, holy there's some... ugly as that sin. Is not good. Counting is that his dad? Then... Is that supposed to be his dad? No, uh, I don't know. Is it Tony? No, Tony. The one on the right? Yeah, it's Tony. Yeah. The gold that's one? That's not his dad? No, it's his uh, that's model dirty. 01 that's... in gold. Why does he yeah. have snakes with him? Um, he was trapped in the Temple of Doom. I have no better answer than well, that. At least we get Camp <laughs> Count Nefaria. Yeah, yeah, because that's what we need. That's what you wanted. I think Iron Man. Do you know every Clive time I was gonna, every time I'm gonna put him on, under the radar, I just skip over him. That's smart. Uh, Whiplash well, is the other fun. one, uh, not the uh, movie version, but the actual comic accurate version here. You make a Whiplash. wonderful Dread Pirate Roberts. Yeah, I mean, they yeah. never put, they never back in the day ever had any Whiplash alphabet ones. characters in any of the Iron Man stuff. Whiplash definitely wasn't one of them, for sure. No, never. Mm -hmm. I like his little sack. Another Iron Man. It's I actually like how much he has got his uh, his chest is exposed, as a matter of fact. Love <laughs> you it. got the V-neck, yeah. Got the V, the v going on. The merch. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. V. Yeah. Is that is that that's a that's a super nice deep V, and that's like you know it's got to be like uh, velour or something that they had put in there maybe, where he got cut into that suit. That's nice. I like it. I I need to find a shirt like that. Um, and this uh, slide is out of place, but uh, we're still gonna uh, show you this one. These are some classic uh, Ghostbusters figures. These are three, okay. three and three quarter inch. Mm, uh, they have the O rings like GI Joe style. Like um, GI Joes. Yeah, that's pretty much what they are. And the Ecto one is that same scale as well. So, wait, go back. Did the gold one come with a bottle? I didn't see a bottle. I don't go, think go, it came with a bottle. I'm gonna put this in big. Go back. I'm gonna see. It's his helmet. Yeah, I still yeah he's got his helmet in his hands, but. That would have been funny if it came with a bottle, though. Yeah, it looks I'm like extra there. hands, some yeah, no, fire no blast, bottle. some snakes. No, you can get yourself no a bottle. bender figure, and then he can, he'll probably have a bottle with it. Nice little little glass with whiskey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is kind of cool. If you're into Ghostbusters, you can uh, pre-order these as well. you got to buy the four-pack for 44 bucks, and the Ecto-1 is going to be about 50 bucks. Well, that seems reasonable considering the price of everything else. 
Well, they are three and three quarters, too. So McFarlane mm-hmm. is doing why? Yeah. So here's Captain Boomerang. And then <laughs> the one on the right is a chase figure. So one in six oh. figures will be this classic this like version. Gold, soft doing. goods. Soft goods McFarlane, which I don't think there's a lot of out there, which is kind of cool if you're a there Captain will be Boomerang soon fan. There will be yeah. soon enough. Um, you're gonna see these at Ollie's, I'm sure. I'm gonna say chase them at Ollie's. <laughs> chase them at Ollie's, yeah. No, the first it'll be like that gold label. Remember when everybody was going crazy over the McFarland gold labels, and for like no. the first two or no, three, I don't remember that. I don't remember them yeah. going crazy. The first, I remember them existing. No, they sold out. The first couple would sell out because some kid, believe me, the first, well, it could have been pandemic too. The first couple were selling out, and then people were like, "Wait, it comes with every figure. It's not that rare. Who gives a shit?" Yeah, yeah, that's like the AEW chase figures. Yeah, everybody's going crazy for them. Yeah, they do chase figures every so often, but this is really bad. This is just lame. Like this, this is, is really bad. Well, it's gonna get worse. So let me let me show you another one that they're doing. Here's Penguin. Then you get the superpowers homage. Yeah, the one on the left is sweet, right? But that's a chase. The one on the left is a chase? No, the yeah. one on the right. That the one that looks like superpowers. Yeah. Ooh. Like the eighties. Looks like 80s penguin. So, you know, that that this is pretty bad, you know. But this one. Now, if I collected DC figures, which I don't, um, I'd be very upset. Because a chase for Starfire is Blackfire. So if you wanted a Blackfire figure. Yeah, so it's not fair. It's not like a variant of the character. Give a whole other character. It's a whole different character. Who cares? They'll all be at Ollie's. If you yeah, find a Black Fire at Ollie's, I might buy one. Let me know. Yeah. Because I do like Black Fire, even though I don't collect these. Um, and then, speaking of your gold label figures. <laughs> I feel bad for people who are young. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just. This Wait, is what? a Mr. Zazz with, um, instead of, like, he's got Sharpie as his tattoo. What? Yeah, I mean, instead looks like of cutting Sharpie himself, made. yeah. Instead of instead of cuts, they look it looks like cuts, Sharpie yeah. marks. Yeah, it looks like he just put it in Sharpie. And then those, how do those glasses stay on his head? I don't understand a word you just said. Yeah, I don't want any of these. None of this. None. Of this. None. Absolutely none. None. That's... None. Yeah. None. You've got more strikes than you were allowed. These have been out for a while now. Yeah, they're gone. All right, let's talk about some comics. Somebody turn off the hangouts. Now that you've mentioned it, That's they're me. more. <clears throat> Goldberg is the world's greatest then... wrestler. <laughs> what? The, the figure of Zaz, he does kind of look like Cody Rhodes. <laughs> you mentioned it. <laughs> American Nightmare. And I looked, I was like, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. It was bugging me. It looked like yeah. somebody. Somebody, yeah, somebody, uh, when I saw the comments for that figure, it said, yeah, that's how Cody's going to come out this weekend. It does look like this. Bri's right. It looks like a figure. That's why I think. Yeah. I guess, Johnny, yeah. They just put it in an Ollie's, like, right around the corner from my parents. I was wondering why my dad kept talking Dude, about Ollie's. I was yeah. driving down uh, 59 Highland. Or what is it, Highland, whatever, 59, what's it called? Highland Road? All Road? Yeah, well, Highland. Oh, it's Hall by you, right on the east side. Yeah. But I was driving on the Highland side, not the Hall side. So, closer to me. And they had a Ross, I was like, oh, shoot, there's an, they had an Ollie's, a Salvation Army, and a Ross all next to each other. Dang. And I was like, damn, dude, like, this is just, this is Legends in McFarland heaven right here. Yeah, you'll be able to find all that stuff. And, and like, some uh, t- uh, Star Wars TBT. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what? It, what? It... <laughs> Love it. Ollie's and Ross are Michigan based. Oh, I didn't know you're talking about streets and Ross. Yeah. <laughs> that is a Michigan thing. Talking about streets yeah. is a Michigan thing because that's no, you know where it is by saying that by saying what the name like Eight Mile is baseline. Also, you know, sure. I mean, like there's a bunch of different names, so you know where it is in the state if you like, what you call the road. Yeah, yeah what you call the road. All right, let's talk about some comics news. We're going to, um, you know, all over Ohio, too. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about uh, a couple of things in the comics um, uh, that happened. Uh, one, uh, Ed Pisker um, is no longer with us. He was 41 years old. His family has confirmed. Uh, his sister, Justine, actually posted uh, with a broken heart, and she confirmed that her big brother, Ed, passed away. 
uh, keep the family in your prayers. And it's the hardest thing they've ever had to go through. He was literally 41 years old and um, yeah. no longer with us. Um, or may he rest in peace. Yeah, I was a big fan of his work. Um, I collected the Red Room stuff. It was crazy. I tried to read some of it, but some of that stuff was just nuts. The Hip Hop Family Tree uh, was another one of the things that he did. Grand um, Design. I'm sorry? Grand Design, X-Men. X-Men Grand Design, yeah. That uh, Wolverine uh, uh, cover that he did, the uh, homage. Um, he's done a lot of uh, good work that he did. I was, like I said, I was a fan of his work. And um, I'm sorry, he's gone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I wasn't a, that big of a fan of his work, but I mean, it it was an acquired taste, but like he definitely yeah, had yeah. a lot of good stuff. So, yeah. um, so this guy over here is uh, Ben Abernathy. You probably don't know him, but he used to be nope. the group editor of Batman, and we talked a little while that that job was available. It was his job. That mm -hmm. was available, and that job is still available, by the way. Batman Group editor, uh, but he left to join Skybound. Really? And Skybound really? is confirmed. Uh, it was uh, rumored that he would, and he uh, is now the group editor. He will be overseeing Energon Universe and developing new projects as well for Skybound. And That's he hired weird. a bunch of other people from IDW and other publishers. There's like three or four other people that he hired whose names I was not familiar with uh, to join his team to help him. Uh, at Skybound, so Skybound's growing, um, and as well they should because they're doing a really good job with the stuff that they have. So the later printings, that's all uh, I have. Uh, yeah, well, on the printings, you're not gonna like what I got coming up later, Pete. Well, it's not even the fact you give me another printing; just give one cover per printing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's not what I they know. Do. I know. Keep yeah. bring it on. <laughs> Uh, well, before we get there, let's talk about a uh, follow-up to this uh, Joker the World story we talked about last week. Uh, Jeff Johns and Jason Fabek uh, are both leaving to go to, uh, what's that called? John, not the John first. What is it? Uh, Ghost, Machine. Ghost Machine. I was going to say, um, and never mind. Uh, so they did three Jokers back in uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. And there were supposed to be, you know, uh, sequels to this. There's all kinds of different talk, but there won't be because they're both going to be exclusive uh, to Ghost Machine. So That's they're fine. That's fine. I don't. It's... Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but they are giving us a ten-page epilogue to that story um, that will be released as part of this hardcover that we yeah, talked Joker's about right last week. So it's called Joker and a Parka. Joker. Yep. Called Joker. Joker. Oh, and a parka. great! Another go Joker story. That's all we need. Yeah. It's going to be a bunch of Joker stories in this. Part. Who's going to be left at DC? They're getting the editor out of there. They're grabbing some of their talent out of there. There's no Jim Lee. Talent going. Yeah, Jim Lee. Jim Lee. Good luck with that shit. Yeah. I know that's. I, know that's kind of it. I they like tried that. to lure him back to X Men. They did. I'm glad they didn't. Why? That Jim Lee run was shit. Stop it. It was shit. Chris's run was fabulous. Jim was not. Who do you think was Let's... right when Jim Lee was drawing it? Let's let's what? Who do you Jim think Lee's was writing art. it when Jim Lee was? Yeah, but it? no, what I'm saying is like when he did the other stuff, writing it when Jim Lee wasn't the art. The art was not oh, good not... during that segment of Jim Lee. It was like because he continued on with other stuff later on. Chris's was great the whole run, and it would have been better oh. if Lee wasn't doing that stupid reboot number one bullshit X Men books that were. But his... that was Claremont. Yeah, but it was the the art was not good. Is what I'm trying to tell you, Pete. You. You can't even like your own X-Men. No, I can. I can like the storytelling that Claremont did in the X-Men. And that's how you can know that they leave that. The one good thing about X-Men, you got to crap all over it. He is not the one good thing about X-Men. Chris is Speaking the one of X-Men. Oh, Jesus. Here's some new printings that were announced. Why? Ultimate Spider-Man. Actually, I forgot to change that. That's the fifth printing of Ultimate Spider-Man. Okay. Uh, coming out on May 1st. Fifth printing. Uh, X Men ninety seven is getting a second printing out on May eighth, and Web of Spider Man number one, that amazing, amazing set of stories that we talked about <laughs> previously, will be getting a second printing with this Ryan Brown cover. Covers, it's a cool cover. Cool. Yeah, the covers cool. cool. Ryan Brown does does good work. And I'll be honest, the ninety seven one, the ninety seven one's a dollar. I'm buying that ninety seven. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what he, I don't know what 
what he's thinking. Yeah, and I agree. Uh, yeah, PK, that's right. No, yeah, I agree. Like, yeah. Wow, those you, are the guys. Hey, hold on. Those are the two guys. That, those are the two guys. You're, that just say something bad side, about AOA. Over. Say that something bad about that, AOA. Yeah, AOA's fine. You forgot. Okay. AOA start off as a troll. <laughs> People forget that AOA and BK were the original trolls. So, yeah, man, I got no problem with that. No, absolutely. Yes, that validation. Thank you very much. Absolute madness. Yeah, I don't madness. know what you're feeling validated about. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what are you validated about? We just decided oh, to move right. on. Right. We, right. Let, we let you you talk. You did it. They just, they, you did it because Dom keeps moving up. Now you just have a cover like it. Holy shit. That's what, what I'm does. talking about. We Come on. We don't need to. Fifth one. printing of Transformers Why? number one, and then you get a black and white cover as well. Does anybody done by Philia Bratukin. Bukaki. Bratukin. Bratukin. Um, so with this Bukaki thing, does anybody even like this? Like this cover? I do actually. If you can take a good look at it, close up. Fuck if you no, look at it close up, it's it's detailed as shit. Oh my god, it's too busy. Just, it it's can't, super detailed. It's too much. Yeah, at this le- at this distance, much. yeah, you're not gonna be able to make it. It's like Jeff Darrow. It's like so like somebody spooshed see all over the cover, man. But if weird. you look at it, if you look at it close, I mean, you see, oh, you see everything. I don't, I don't hate it. I mean, the pencil one is definitely like way more detailed. Obviously, it's busy. It's so busy. Much, yeah. It's so, so busy, much. Dude. Give you a headache. Looks like a Where's Waldo. Yeah. Oh. You just said it's great. It'll give you a headache. I don't. What are, What are we doing here? It's, yeah, I don't know. Who said it's great? Like a... no. You're adding words. Words. I'm just making you up did. words. You said great. Rewind the I didn't say great. <laughs> I yeah, said it's detailed. Nobody said it was great. But I don't mind them. Like I just don't want two covers for the fifth printing. Yeah, either. Well, two options for the fifth. Too bad. Printing. It's not your choice. I know. Well, it's my choice not to buy either, despite the fact that I don't mind it too much. Number two yeah. is getting a fourth printing, and number three is getting a third printing. Actually, and like, those are your covers for that. I like the three, I like the third printing. Like I mean, the if you three. don't have these books, obviously get them to read them. Give this story a chance, but. At this point, do you just buy? Do you just wait till they're done with all the printings and then buy the cover you like? If you can still find it, yeah. yeah. Well, these haven't really gone. On. Like these haven't really no. been. Yeah, you there hasn't see. been too much of a market on these later printings yet. We'll see down the uh. line. But. And then one more. This is number four with a second printing with two different covers. What were the? We got to find out what the other covers were. Because did they do character covers on the first two? That, These are I'll what they honest. did on the second prints. On the second prints, they did an Autobot and a Decepticon. Yeah, that's so what they, they were doing for them. all of them. So that's the printed cover. Yeah, that's what I'm all saying. Like that would be print. cool if you collected all the second prints. I guess yeah, on the that second gives you something print, to do. I mean, like that's yeah, cool. Do the same thing, right? They're doing yep, character. Yeah, yeah, they're doing the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the card print. Yeah, I mean these are these are nice. I mean I like these. Jason Howard's doing a pretty good job with these as well. Well, that's and yeah, that's what I mean. Cool. Like, I got over the fact for the second printing, you're giving me two. It's just by the time we get to fifth, we don't need two covers. Yeah, we don't need two of them. Yeah, no, I get. It. <coughs> Especially if you're gonna do this with the second print. If you're gonna do yeah, this with the second I mean, print, I'm okay with it. Yeah, what are you with it? And uh, with that, that wraps up our news. Wow, that's a lot of news. We had a good news segment. A lot of toys, yeah. A lot of, lot of toys we went over and some fun. A lot of, there's a lot of people named Cox. A lot of stuff the, from the Cox. The thing, balls of Cox. And... Yeah, and what? Yeah, something about all Joker right. and nudity. Fucking Joker, Joker's balls. All Joker right, hogs and all that. I bet you S and S is going to take that one for a ride. Uh, <laughs> let's get Pete. You ready for take it or leave it? I suppose so. All right, so we're going to get into our weekly segment that you guys are loving and asking for more reviewing comics, even in shit weeks like this week. Holy shit! It wasn't. Yeah, well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. You screwed it up. Wait, so that's the background. Yeah. Well, I was yes. trying to hit the intro because you were distracting me. There it is. Now the background makes sense. They're not turned. She's been a chick before. It has been a chick before, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Hmm. All right. Take it or leave it. This week's Nailing comic it. reviews. If you don't like the books we review, suggest some that aren't stupid or whatever. Yeah, Wait, you're getting too sensitive about this. No, the, the Nemesis. I don't know. BK is going to suggest Nemesis Reloaded for the 800th time after we already reviewed it. Or he's going to say Grendel, which we've already reviewed. Grendel. Shit, man. 
Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. I'll, 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 I can talk about this one a little bit. This, um, it was nothing. It was, um, it was a book. There was a, it was a book. Not a book we had seen before. Some art in it. And it had words on the page. And if you have been reading Batman, I'm going to say you could have just looked at the first page and the last page and you'd be good. If you've ever read Batman before, you could work at, look at the first page and the last page and you'd be good. Because the whole inside was literally doing what I complain about Batman all the time, telling the same Joker Batman story. But in this time, they didn't even tell a new version of it for 50% of the book. They literally just showed you panels from other fucking books. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if DC, I don't want to say anything bad, but Joe, hey, when Joe know. wants to talk about Marvel, pick this book up and you tell me that this hawk of shit is I thumbs down, thumbs down. Waste it was time. waste of money. My index, you my got, index of happiness is 0. 0.00. Yeah, he's been running around with his, his robot suit failsafe dad oh, while so his stupid. dad's in prison with Joker. And, oh, yeah. they literally brought in every punchline was there. Uh, who's the yeah, Robin that dies? He was Harley. there. Yeah, Harley was every single person. Was did they miss a person in that book? What, what, what was with Superman? Penguin was there. Yeah, in there. Like, huh? What was with that? Like Superman shows up and he goes, "Okay, I guess what you're doing is okay, even though you commandeered a goddamn prison and he are goes, just I'm always grabbing people win. off the street, throwing so them in stupid. jail, like so yeah, dumb." Cool with that. All right, Batman always wins. Oh, does he? Like, tell yeah, that hey, right. tell that hey, tell that to the tell that to the Robin that guy's head beat in with a crowbar. What, just like, why did it super like I didn't get it? Like, why did Superman show up? And then like cool. What? It's not it's it's not a filler bit between store arcs, it's the second it's the first book it's the in the second part. part of the story. No, it's part two. It's part two. I think it's only like three parts. Yeah, it's three parts. <laughs> I guess. Well, why did you it's literally the middle of the movie? It's the, the meat. Yeah, this this was not enjoyable uh so i i would i would not recommend for you to spend money on this book thumbs i was down. looking forward to this two but... thumbs down two thumbs no, down not given two thank there's you just... thank you for proving my point thumbs down this there's just three horrible. of us here so we'll just do the three all right next book it is what it is still wasn't the worst thing in the world it just wasn't great next book Just as we're saying Marvel isn't as bad as DC, Marvel does the exact same it. thing no. that DC Hold did. My bear. They said, we're going to do the same bullshit you do. We're just going to tell the same ass story we always tell. No, I, I hate this. I hate this retcon bullshit. Let's go back. I'm going to tell you a story that happened between stuff that you do know. Like, but this what? is what they always do too in Spider Man. That <laughs> shit. Oh, the one everyone I said I didn't meet Harry and Gwen till later. Well, it turns out I did, just not as Peter Parker. Shut up. This is stupid. And... Stupid. So yeah. I don't mind stories oh, that are nonsense. stories that are in the past, like that fill in gaps, but not when they, like you said, they retcon okay. and change it, and it doesn't tie in with anything. That... Like retcon the retcon. I mean, yeah. It, it, it's so stupid. It's kind of ridiculous. Hey, hey, you got enough toilet paper this week. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it's we like, I don't know what that. they were trying to go for here. It's like, oh, let's just have Aunt May lose her shit on Peter because, well, it's more realistic these days. Forget all the, the happy, you know, cliched version that she was originally. Let's just There's have her just lose her shit on him because he comes home beat up. Zaggy, you read this piece of dog water toilet paper and you tell me what you think of it. Because it Dog is water garbage. toilet paper? Everybody's entitled to their opinion. I just yeah, like, like a, hey, hey, you ever have it where you change the toilet paper roll and it drops into the toilet and then you got to throw the whole toilet paper roll away? Oh, I see. Yeah. It's not fun. Yeah, dude, this is right, Archo. This is like these two last books are like. Oh, yes. These 100%. Are, this, is, this is the worst of comics. All right, so well, I was a down on this one. I, I told you, down. Know. You don't even have to ask me on that one. Just get rid of this garbage. All right, well, we'll just go there. Then. All right, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> Dub, what do you got? I didn't read the whole thing because you didn't. Don't worry, you didn't have to. It's garbage. Okay, we're moving on. It's hard enough. You can't save it anyway. <laughs> I can't save it. I don't want to. Oh, save it. Dude, I would put it back, Zaggy. I would put it back. It's 
Speaking of not saving things. There we go. If it was Jim Lee, it might have been good. I'm just I'm just waiting for this era to end now. Just so like 32. Oh, it's almost over. I'm just 32, at least we had a sum a summary of it. The only cool part of this is when Dr. Doom said. Uh, the Doom X-Men, which is the Seven Daggers, are now called his X-Men, which I thought was kind of cool. The The X-Men actually suck. They're kind of suck. It's like the Inhumans now that they're putting in there. If you go back to 28 and 29, you get all seven of their first appearances, which are pretty much dollar books at this point. But it looks like that oh, group Doom, might yeah, be the Doom, new, the, yeah, Doom's, Doom's X-Men, X-Men, which they call them yep, the Seven yeah. Daggers of... Uh, what's the name of the city he's from? Uh, Le, 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 Laveria? Laveria, yeah. That's their official name. But in this book, he calls them his Doom's X-Men. Um, the rest of the book was crap. Uh, a certain character comes back. I'm not going to spoil it. I like the character that comes back, but I also don't care at this point because this is just another summary. This is just another summary book with only three pages in it. Like yeah, all the rest of it was just like. just like up other stuff. Like. Second time we've had this happen in this book. Just get it over with. Please put us out of our misery. Yeah, this is this is a rough week. Hmm. Magic's uh, heavily in it, and so is Shadow Cat. So, for those lovers of those two characters, they're there. Really, so heavily. Is, so is well, they well they, they had a big, the one part that was in there that ugh, some fanboy said to me like, "Oh no, this book's great because of this, because of the thing that happens in the last page." Uh, was with those two characters and some other characters. So. I, 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 dude, the guy was sweating profusely. He was excited. Maybe it's the second to last page, somewhere in there. Pete's going through the book to see what it I'm was. going through it to try to see what purple character. Oh, I was going to say, you're talking about the pink guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He just said, oh, so thumbs down for me, too. I want to use a, yeah. <laughs> I was going to use yeah. a term that I use all the time, but it's that character's name, so I can't say it. So Magic is in there 100, percent Joe. Good call. Yeah, she's there, but I don't even know if she speaks. I didn't see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. Emma she's Frost just kind of there. Really... Like, what's I mean? Like, even Emma Frost Shadow Cat stupid. Lines, like a page. Oh well, yeah, it's... you got a nice. Well, I'm not going to spoil it, but you got a nice panel of Emma Frost putting lipstick on. So for all you Emma Frost simps, you know that. Um, yeah, we got, yeah, we got as much coverage of her driving on as we did do anything else really. All right, so we got that thumbs down. Get rid of it. I didn't get to this one. I got to sit this one. I will tell you this, Pete. You should have got to this one. You want to know why? Because Deadpool goes to Quebec and then gets to make... There's a ton of Quebec Canadian jokes through the whole book, oh, which yeah. is when Deadpool's the best. I, did, when get Deadpool's the, the best. I did get the Tomb of Dracula one that I wanted, so nice, I was happy dude. to get the homage. So Cool. When Deadpool can make fun I'll of Canadians, I just didn't get to it it's today. amazing. So I... I I got a thumbs up on this one. This one was actually pretty decent. I mean, was that a ratio, Pete? Was that a, the no, no, dragon, just, uh, They're just doing me. a whole run of uh, vampire homage covers uh, this month to get ready for Blood Hunt. I'm actually doing some shorts because I like these covers, so I'm going to throw a couple shorts out, which well, I know I haven't done them in a while, but I like these. So, Fry J, favorite of this week might be coming up soon, too. Uh, and we kind of liked it before it was coming out with some of the preview stuff. But. Well, so right. like I said, we're going to give up. This is all Marco's opinion, but I, I'll give it a try. Like yeah, said, it's good. Happy, like so I got to read it. If you mm-hmm. if you like that, like mess around, like jokey sh- stuff with Deadpool. I mean, the, he's got the he's got like the That's fine. Yeah. what's the what's the is it the sister? What, whatever the stupid carnage like the symbiote. Is it? Oh, is princess it symbiote. Princess. Princess symbiote's in there. Whatever. It's kind of funny. Who else does he have? He's got somebody else in there. It's kind of whatever, like secondary characters. Doesn't really matter. But he really puts on the Quebec joke lines, and it is funny as hell. I thought it was amusing. Well, so I would take it. Hey, Comics Once has taken too. I can take some Quebec jokes. Plus, uh, what? Shit's Creek. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. Gene Levy show. Yeah. This song. Anyway, it's pretty funny. I like Gene Levy. Yeah, it's a pretty funny show. All right. All right. Now we're going to get to it, and I know BK is excited. I'm excited. Probably, probably GI, the Duke, the core commander. Duke but stuff. we have oh, the Ghost Machine universe started. Yeah. But I did not get through all of them yet. As I read through the other books that Marco suggested first, because I was waiting for his answer of whether we were going to do these or not. So I, I put these at the back of the pile, and then it became nine o'clock all of a sudden. So I didn't get a chance to read all of them. I started what I've read so far. I started Rook 
I'm kind of into it. I already know a bit about Geiger. Redcoat, he showed up good. before too. So I'm in already. I'll just freely admit I haven't read That's all of them the yet. Stuff. But I yeah. got them. Got them right here. I got my connecting covers as I had hoped. But what I read so far, I'm still on board to read more. This is a 50% thumb up for 50% of the... I just don't ever think I'm going to get into like the knockoff uh, Fantastic Four family or Redcoat. It's just never going to... Why not? Redcoat, you, know, you get like an uh, old guard, you know, the Total yeah, Warrior kind of vibe. Like, I'm, I'm into that. The Geiger thing is Geiger. Geiger was good the first run. The second run is maybe not as good, but still I'm vested. And Rook is good. So... Uh, but we don't have to worry about the other books. It's just these three. These are the only three that came out this week. Yeah. So far, like I said, I, I'm in. Even though I haven't, I didn't get through all of them. I kind of scanned the first few pages of each just before we started. But uh, yeah, I'm so in. So two out, two out. What I got? Two I'm in. Yeah, ba based on what I know, I mean, I love Geiger. The first, um, the Geiger's run on its own. I, I would, I did skim these a little bit, but didn't read them. Um, huh. I, I would, I would get this, and I would recommend it based on what I've read before. Um, this, this, this universe definitely intrigues me. Yeah. It, it's just hard. This is, we're, we'd be like seven, eight books deep already at this point. I just have that, that kind of free time. So yet, but I will get the rest of it. I know it's weird to say this, Bri, but for some, I can't, I can't put, I, I, I'm excited every week, every month that Cobra Commander comes Please out. Please look at a BK. I'm not asking you. Or Bri, I said. Oh, oh was <laughs> yeah, he asking Bri's BK? Asking BK. BK can't, but I'm trying to help him out because BK can't read. I'm just trying to help him out. As you can see, yeah, my answer for BK. My favorite book. I have like been looking minutes. forward to Duke and the Cobra Commander book. Yeah, Duke and Cobra Commander is just really good. It's just Surprisingly, really good. Uh, Transformers yeah. is close, but I've actually been liking the Joe stuff with just a touch better. Joseph's really good. Really? Yep. Looks good. I mean, you know, I don't, yeah, I'm trying to think of mainline stuff that I'm really like. I mean, the High Republic stuff I do actually enjoy, so I like that. Mm. But um, I think it, like, the only books that I really give a crap about at this point is, well, it would be this, would be did Geiger you and your, Rook. Did you get to your Star Wars book today yet? Or do you say, I know you're saving no, it. I'm, I'm probably saving it. I'm not, dude. I, that thing but is, I didn't know I if you read it I might not even read it. The last one was so bad. The Star Wars main title was yeah. so bad. I like I like the reflection cover. I got yeah, I got the yeah, the I like the stormtrooper helmet cover. I mean, right now, if I'm not saying like one book or whatever, but if it, if we're talking the series, the High Republic Adventures and the High Republic regular book, this is what I'm reading. High Republic when I'm when I if I read something with pilot shit and I got High Republic in it, I'll read the High Republic to you know chase that. I'll read these two books, Geiger and Rook, chase that. I'll read. I'm not going to keep going. I might go keep going with Deadpool, but probably not after they get away from the Quebec jokes because that's just not my style. But then like the Joe books every twice, twice a month. I, I at least know. Well, they're ending though. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Scarlet's going to come out. I bet you that'll be probably okay. Hopefully mm -hmm. cross our fingers. So, but that's what, well, yes, right now. And that's what I'm reading right now. Like those yeah. four books are probably the, I'm like, like Moon Knight still. Excited. Moon Knight's good. Moon Knight's I didn't get okay. today's yet. I got today. It's okay. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really digging the ultimate stuff. I don't, I don't, I think it's, it's, it's all right. I mean, I like Spider-Man, but then it's kind of lost a little steam because I feel like we're getting back to, you caught me on an interesting change up. You're like, well, he's an older Peter Parker, but now you're still going to, I feel like you're still going to retell me the same stories again. Right. And I don't know if I need that. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean that's just it. So like those, uh, you you know it's kind of fun that it came out this week too. Was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon number two, the second series. But I read all those Sunday morning cartoon books. I know uh, it's not for everybody. So, I mean, I wouldn't suggest reading them unless it's like I just I think they're fun. Well, the regular runs wrapping up soon, a couple weeks. Yeah, and then we get a restart. Right. What do we got next? Reboot. We got our streaming review. Ooh. Again, without spoilers, we're just doing it again because we've done it every week. So I'm just keeping it here for now. Oh. Maybe next week. I think next week's the last episode of Invincible. <laughs> I'm gonna try to catch up and watch all of them. So we might do Invincible next week if I if we can get through them. Oof, I don't know. Twelve time this weekend, Pete. 
I'll try. Okay, we'll see. Otherwise, we can save it, and it might be a little aged. But I have I do 12 hours of wrestling to watch this weekend. Oh, shoot. That's right. It's WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, what? oh, yeah. Um, WrestleMania 40. Before this, did you guys watch Shogun? Yes. No. I didn't it is watch now, Shogun It's yet. now completely shifted from the original storyline, okay. but it's still good. It's still good. Okay. Yeah, like so for for whatever reason, we had time yesterday and we watched it yesterday, and like it's it's so good. I want to watch it again. It's it's yeah. Um, I didn't get to. Watch I it have a theory, Dub, of what is going to happen now because it historically is completely gone. Not like the first one was completely historical, but towards. You want me to leave that in here for every week? We can just put that in here. Sure. Uh, but, right. but, but, but not, no spoiler, of course. I'm not going to spoil yeah, it. There definitely yeah. wasn't any but dragons around during that time, but right, no uh, dragons. Yeah, but they must like, have just not yeah. been in Japan at the time. I don't know what he was saying. Here. Like, how do we know? Because did you see all the paper? Like, I don't. Anyways, uh, it was very. It's very good though. Like, I just think the last scene is going to give the because that's not how. That's not how it went last time. Like, I'm not saying that they did. Crimson Dragon or Rain or whatever, uh, gotcha. but they kind of did in the one before, kind of. Gotcha. And, um, but I think now it's going. The next one's going to lead to something similar to the ending of the other one, gotcha. kind of. Because my of wife is not happy with the ending. She's been talking about it all day today. I'll tell you what I think. Yeah, gonna happen yeah, yeah, we'll talk. Yeah, let's talk so, offline. That's not. Yeah, no more. No spoilers. Yeah, show great, right? over. Hey, what's up, Gonzo? We can talk about it and you know give a good. It is. It's still recap. enjoyable. Oh, you, but Joe, you gotta admit they they really went. They really hey, went. You, you yeah, guys they really went so far. So they ahead. really went crazy with it. I actually liked it. It got to a point where I was like, "That's not how this story." And then I was like, "But this is still good." And I'm mad at how the story's <laughs> going. But it was like a good man. Like I was like mad at like how the story was going. You know what I mean? Not just that they changed. I'm, it, I'm like giving you both. You both have yeah. said this. I didn't get to it yet, so I'm not gonna. I will tell you. Watch the original after you're done with this one, and you, you that's know, my plan. That's bit. my plan. I had yeah, watched. Here. I watched the original, but it's so long ago. I don't remember because I watched it with my yeah. dad, and it was one of those things that he wanted me to watch. And I'm like, I was losing interest, and who cares? I'm gonna go play. But it was good. I know. I'm just saying. He, he was right. like trying to watch Godfather at too young an age. You just can't appreciate. You know what you're watching. You know, I will you tell just, you anyone. Just got no, no, nothing for taste. Uh, there, there we go. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I've it's been just, reaching out you, you, to you friends who I haven't talked to in a I'm while, it. telling them to watch this. I've been like, you know, like it's just I wouldn't tell anyone and everyone good man to watch this show because it's it is that good, and I will watch yeah. it again for sure. Love it. I All right, so love now it. we can get to this. <laughs> now okay. we can talk about. It. Now, last week I said, "Hey, by the way." uh Mm, look at the title of it. It's called. Well, that's why I didn't see the title of it, so I didn't know. It's called Motendo. Motendo. Now you look. We have all the titles listed and here. And like, well, they had this out for. And like, no, I didn't death. know that. Yeah. So if you thought that Motendo might do with a Mo type of character, it absolutely did. I think they did an okay job with it. I actually wish they would have given us a whole episode of that, not just 15 minutes. Yeah, it was weird. Different. The split. The split was they weird. Give you minutes and they give you part one of life, uh, death story, which is for, spoiler alert for from the 90s, which is the what we right talked about it, 100 times over two. That what? It's right there on the cover of the comic. And the, the, like, that's. Yeah, that's when Rogue and. Um, yeah, it's Forge the title of the to, story. Yeah, we bang, saw bang. the characters that are. Yeah. Rogue and Star. Right oh. Storm. Storm. I know how bits fit. Storm. Yeah, Storm. That's what he said. Storm he and Forge. Forge did say, I know how bits fit. I know how bit fits. And yes, Joe, he had on short shorts. She does in the cover. But yeah, I thought it was still very good. I like kind of, I kind of like how they did it. I was really worried because the first time we see Mojo, I was like, I was kind of like uh, Pete with Silver Surfer. I was like, but... So you like Forge as much as Pete likes Silver Surfer? No, Mojo. Oh, so yeah, I mean, probably. I yeah. He's a weirdo. He likes Creeper too. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Did, yeah, was yeah. Forge wearing the tube socks, the long tube socks, with the short shorts? I don't know. I didn't concentrate too much. on Nah, he Forge. had kind of a Rocky and Apollo on it was the like beach two... race kind of vibe going. Because he had his headband on and he had his little shorts. I don't. I think he might have been sleeveless too. I think it was like we just rocking like a tank. Oh, Jojo! Oh, Jojo! Oh, jo, jo. 
Oh, dang. Is that the old one? Yeah, he, he got back into form quick enough. Uh, but yeah, so the first 15 was about Mojo, and I thought they did a pretty decent job. I would have liked a little bit more, obviously. But um, yeah, I was worried about because how they showed Mojo in the beginning, it's not what it doesn't look like that. Um, he doesn't look like Diane Keaton, he looks like Eric Roberts. Um, anyways, very good. I give it a thumbs up. I enjoyed it. I mean, I wish they would have just done life, death as I you know. I wish they would have done a larger Moverse thing and they would have done a then done life because you're gonna if you look at the schedule in two weeks, we're gonna get the rest of life and death. Yeah. Part two. So it might have also helped if they reversed them. Oh, like no, if they first started then with life you. death and then you finish with the mojo stuff. Because yeah. I feel like it did kind of pull the put the brakes on the show a little bit when they switched and it didn't have the same kind of uh I'm extremely excited up. about what I think uh the next episode is. I know it says remember it, but write it down, take a picture. I think it's a guy with cards. I think it's gonna be a this. Oh, this one. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. You think we're getting da, guilds? Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think we're getting guilds. I think we are. I think we're getting guilds. Interesting. A little sinister, a little gambit, a little bit thievesy guilds, maybe. We'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Assassin's Guild, maybe even. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get a Charles and Eric story. No, we there. might. I hope we don't. I hope it goes the gambit way. Um and then you know I'm down if that's the way they go. I hope so. For, for all you no, people that are make me have to weigh in on this one. Yeah, I can't. I didn't watch it, so I watched Shogun. We're gonna get the end is cool too because we're gonna get extinction, and then we're gonna get a rogue centric storyline. Apparently, if I'm right with the remember it, then I'll be right with the bright eyes because you know who says that all the time. We're gonna get a rogue centric story there too. So Connor Oberst is that a Connor Oberst story? <laughs> <laughs> I could not remember his name. I that is. <laughs> is that a guy that plays bright eyes? It is bright eyes. He is bright eyes. He is bright eyes. Was that me? I used to listen to that all the time back in me the day. Too. That a, was that guy in a band? Yeah. That's it's a one dude, right? Yeah. Well, he has other people, but yeah, he's the guy. I he's saw him at some place early on. Oh, really? Yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, him a few times. Sure. He's okay. He's not. People really liked him. I don't know. People, yeah, he's got extreme. Yeah, it was bands. in some small venue, but. Um, well, I'll, I'll keep Shogun in there until we get to the end moving forward. We can always add other stuff if there's other stuff you guys want to I think Wolverine that. was hitting it, bro. All right. All right. So next up, we've got uh, a great seg, I guess. I don't know. I'm spending too much time on this. Actually, no, no, even no, no. Guys want to do. Huh? Well, here, let me run your thing so we I'll can get it. Thing. What's up, Ryan? All right, Under the Radar. Under the Radar is back again. It always is. So this week, for those people that have first time to see Under the Radar, this is just kind of books when you're digging you might look at or books that I'm thinking like, hmm, man, we don't talk about that book enough or whatever. You'll see some of the books I just put out there because it's like, why not? They'll be like first cover appearance, first new. Yeah, it was based off of the stuff we're watching, we're talking about that yeah. we're reading. That relates to it and then has something to relate to it. First team up, whatever. So I didn't do it last week, and I told Pete to calm down because I figured this week had the Mojo good, verse good in it. it. No, it's good to save it for this week. So I told to save it, so I did. And Rita Wayward, a.k.a. Uh, our girl Spiral, is – she makes her – most people that don't know, originally when um, Longshot jumped into 616 Universe where he was doing the thing, he met this chick, and they were doing, like, stunts together. That's Rita. Rita eventually he tries to fight for in the Mojo verse. Who cares to get to free all the people there? Turns they capture her and they experiment on her. She turns to this character that's got six arms and can pretty much transport you through different regions, and actually shows up at different times while Rita's still alive in the regular universe. Anyways, I guess you got uh, I, I have I have questions. Go ahead about so her name is Spiral. I right, said so spiral, spiral, not spiral, spiral, yes, okay. spiral, spiral, and her name is Rita Wayward. Yes, Wayward. not Rita Hayward. No, nope. Rayward, Wayward, Wayward, <laughs> Wayward, Wayward. Okay. The lost soul, which is weird because she's got black hair. Is whatever. She she it looks like she, Warlord when she becomes. Oh, it's kind of cool. She gets to like fly with jetpacks with Longshot at one point. Does she nice. give good face? 
I don't think they do that in this book. <laughs> Long shot's got a cool mullet. Uh, so it's yeah, her actual first appearance as Bull, Four by finger? the way, is in one. And no matter what anybody says, uh, like for whatever, wherever they say her first cover is, it's also one because the red character in the background is her opening the portal. She's like on the cover too. So there's a very small version of her inside. It looks like just a naked lady with six arms. Okay. In this book, very small, but it's her and she's on the cover. So, you know what, if it's on the cover and it's inside, what's it called? First, first full appearance. First full oh, appearance. Right, first full. That's full. what people Not like. First, first full. So that red figure is her there. She's also buck bacon for some reason on the inside. Raws are averaging about $15 in any shape. CGC 9.8, however, $207.50 was the last sale on it. I, I, I don't know what to tell you about that. Um, I think so. Then we got, we got think- Forge. We did, when we originally did the X-Men... Uh, 97 preview for Under the Radar. We already covered his first appearance in 184. Uh, Pete made fun of the picture that I suggested. So I got a new, more manly picture for him. Pete, how do really? you feel? I was about to make picture? fun of this one. I was like, what's, what's hey, what going on here? What is this? Nah, this is like, like the last cover of picture. Oh, we, we have a question uh, um, about Longshot. Does he have a mullet in every yes. part? Yes, absolutely yeah. does. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Party in the back, man. He's always partying in the way. Got the Dom Mysterio uh, going. Uh, so instead, we're going to talk about Life and Death, which is part one, which was what we had here. Very and, short shorts. <laughs> and Joe spoiled it. Uh, the very short shorts of Forge. Uh, there is a volume two that does a little bit better. But we'll probably cover that in three weeks. Wink, wink, wink. Uh, Raw's 9-4. It said, uh, if, you, if you put in the listing, direct edition, minor key, you can get $4 for this. If you put... First cover appearance of Forge, which you get twenty four more. Not, it technically is. It's the third his third appearance, but first cover appearance. Especially first, first cover. cover. Uh, Hidden Short Church. Yeah, you can get twenty four more cents if you just don't put anything, uh, nothing at all. You get six dollars on average for this book in any grade. So that is yeah. to say, Forge is a detriment to you selling this book. <laughs> Minor key. He has a negative popularity. A negative on the happiness. Hurts you if you. I'm not saying anything. I'm just helping you guys out. I told you I'd help you out with some of the listings. This is what's going on in the market. If you don't list it as anything besides just X Men uh, 186 or Uncanny X Men Volume One 186, you can probably sell it for six dollars at any grade. If you put it to minor key or personal appearance from Forge, you can probably sell it for four dollars or four twenty four. CGC 96 recently sold for $44.99. Wow. The John Stockton shorts just don't help this book. Whew. All right. Next up, uh, you might ask why I'm showing you this. It doesn't matter. Strong guy, most people don't know. Guido. <laughs> matter why you're showing us Guido. I used to have a janitor <laughs> named Guido. I just used to have a, a, a elementary school. There's a janitor. His name was Guido, too. Uh, that's why I like this character. His name's Guido. Did he have that uh, haircut? No, he is a very frail old man who I'm not even sure if he was technically the janitor. I think he just walked around uh, the hallways just with one of those rolling trash cans all the time. He just hung out with a trash can. <laughs> nice guy, though. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, we, I went to school that had steps, like marble steps that to get to the second floor. Never on the second floor. He was never on the second floor. I don't think he could walk the steps. All right. Uh, next up, bro, his That's first appearance. Up there. His first appearance, New Mutants, Volume 1, number 29. A lot of people pass over this book. If it's Mm -hmm. listed as near mint, no matter the condition, if it's listed as near mint, it's a $9 book, uh, no matter what the condition is. No matter. Uh, However, if you do not list it as near mint, which means there's multiple copies that were listed as near mint in multiple different conditions, but they all sold for about 9 bucks. If it's listed any other way, if first appearance... Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, uh, it's two dollars. Any other way you put it, it's a two dollar oh. book. So, if you want to sell this book, just make sure you put near mint in there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, put near mint. So, yeah. like the two dollar, you want to buy it, buy it any way that doesn't say near mint. Were there fire emojis and like hot book or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, sometimes they put a fire emoji in it, but the one common factor was it said Did near they mint. list it with 
trash can Guido or anything like that. Don't make fun of that old man. He was just doing some charity work. All right. <laughs> we didn't know him, so it's okay. For yeah. us. All right. Uh, Not I to be confused with speaking, the Lord of the Rings villain. Yeah, speaking, speaking of characters I name incorrectly, uh, Saren, Saren, uh, Sauron, uh, however you want to pronounce it. Sauron. 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 Sauron or Sauron. However you want to pronounce it. Sauron. That's kind of cool, however actually. Want... I like it. Yeah. But that, no, it's Sauron. Just no, like say Ron. Okay. Well, I, no, it's like it's here. like you know, if you saw your friend Ron. Yeah, I saw Ron over at the store. That's all. Yeah, I, I saw, saw Ron. Ron. I saw Ron. I saw Ron. So, uh, Saron or Saron. Uh, first, it's, here's the tricky part here. I always like to add in one of these where it gives you the character before they have a mutation or before they become the character thing. So, his first appearance as Doctor Carl uh, is. Like Carl Lycos. Carl Lycos that is his name. Yep. Dr. Carl Lycos is uh X Men oh. Volume 1, number 59. Wow, that's some wonderful art. Um it looks like Cyclops <sighs> is struggling to make it to the bathroom after a I wasn't gonna let out. DK get it because he said he mentioned how great the Neil Adams art is. I'm just saying. Um he's just like, oh god, I gotta make it. Can't make it. Oh yeah, it's terrible. Uh X-Men 59. If you list as X-Men 59, first appearance of Carl, uh, FN, FN plus, guys, FN plus. Just remember that great, FN plus. Is this like a... I took it right out of a fucking list. F- Mr. F- Fantastic, plus. like, homage or something? Because, like, his legs are, like, skinny and, like, Probably his top joke. is... The top of his body is, like, kind of... His shoulders kind of buff, but... I just want to hear about how great these down. artists are again. I would really like to hear it. Um, yeah, anyways, he have good stuff. Like, I'm not gonna disperse the man totally, but yeah, this is not great. Gosh, that's some terrible shit. Like, uh, what is, also, where is Cyclops aiming with his shot? Like, why is he looking in that area? So, Let's Neil Adams guy. art explanation point the robots, sh- they don't actually have gear down there. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Free shipping, uh, uh, $56.99. Uh, if you rank it as X Men 59. FN plus. You throw all these character names in there? Yeah. What is that? I think it's the exclamation exclamation point. Fine plus. Fine plus. It's fine plus. I don't see why you just you just you just put don't put fine, you put FN plus. Yeah, it's not quite verified. Save two characters so you can put those exclamation points at the end of the name. FN plus N FN plus N got me a little confused because I was like, I don't but it's supposed to be Neil Adams, Sentinels, uh so if you put, listen, they're both FN, FN plusers, but if you put in Adam's explanation point, Sentinel's explanation point, by the way, these are both sold within the same, like a very short period of time with each other, within like three to four days. Cyclops explanation point, uh, Beast explanation point, Havoc explanation point, uh, but do not include the first appearance in it. Once again, don't include the first appearance for it. Uh, you can sell the yeah, book. Yeah, you'll for... do better off putting your own internal mm. filing code in the listing so you know yeah. that you can find your V557. Yeah, yeah V5572. Uh, they comics. think it's like, yeah, yeah. comics. Uh, if you do all that, once again, don't list the first appearance at all in this book. You could sell for about 33 more dollars. Uh, however, if you just throw it up there and say this book is uh, if VG to no grade, pretty much, if you don't put a grade on it, or you put VG yeah, on it. You don't say shit. You'll it's do. 25 bucks. And, he, and some of these were pretty good shape. There was one that was a really good shape sold for 25 bucks. VG, 25 yeah. bucks. This whole exclamation point thing is very um, intriguing. I yeah, think if you're going with books, by this. Yeah. just put down X-Men. You just got go to watch the character count. Just a bunch of random names of X-Men just, just with X-Men exclamation, with exclamation points. points. Yeah. Good. Hmm. Uh, CGC uh, 8.0. Sold for one twenty six fifty with twenty five bits, which once again, I, I'm not even gonna say about it. Yeah, okay. You guys do the math on that. Do the math on the grading. Okay, X Men Volume One Number Sixty. Now, if you didn't know, this is actually considered. What are we saying? Oh, say Ron, say Ron's uh, first Ron. appearance. Say Ron's first appearance. <laughs> uh, because it's his first full appearance. Because he's not. You get his buttocks on the cover. And you get him inside as the uh, character Saran, 
uh, or say Robert. Oh, first full, right, because he first was on full, the cover of the other one. Not on the cover of the other one. Oh, Plus, it was I just see. him as a doctor. Now he's a... Oh, okay. So, so is say Rod is on inside, too, and in here, Raws are $71. First appearance of say Rod, explanation point, the OMs. I think this is the same guy that did the that sold uh, 59. Uh, Marvel key. Now, this is not a minor key or any type. This is a 69 key issue. A 69 key issue. Oh, well, there are two, two exclamation points there, though. But. Yes. High grade. This is high grade. Just so you um, know. This is higher grade. Which, by the way, uh, the pictures once again are higher the than high what? Grade. It's higher. <laughs> it's just higher. Which is higher, man. <laughs> That was very. I will say that the higher grade is very subjective. Uh, however, if you have a VG 4.0 listed, then you can get more money that way without listing any of the other shit. Just put VG 4.0, $77. You'll get six more dollars than higher grade key issue. Save yourself some time writing all that stuff out. Yeah. However, if you write out Silver Age Marvel comic book slash first, say Ron. Slash VF minus very fine minus seven point oh. I think they put the seven oh in there so people just see the seven. Oh, and they go with seven. That. Then you get for one thirty five CGC nine eight. However, sold for two hundred dollars. I I don't understand the internet. I don't understand the internet. Sticks, can you sing this on Friday show? I want to see. Take me higher. Is that how that goes? Or is it? Can you take me higher? Can you, take, can you take yeah. me higher? But... Okay. Next up, uh, oh, because bad. because this leads to something else in a minute, Gladiator, <clears throat> just saying, uh, X-Men Volume 1, number 107. This is also for those people that know we talk about this all, all the time, Star Jammers. Uh, it has gone up a little bit since we've talked about it, but also come down a little bit too. It's gone up in the near mint category. It's up to 140 now. I want X-Men into face. I do too. Uh, however, well, we got to see a couple of things from there, so that's kind of cool because we got to see a whole bunch of them. Raw, it's however, FA by 5.5. Excuse X me, X-Men no. in space. Uh, space. If you just put HG high grade, that's all you put, but it's the same condition. If you look at the pictures, it's the same condition as the FN minus, but you just put high grade there. I mean, actually, like dead on, it could have been the same book. HG uh, though. He just said high grade. It says for high grade. That's all it said. It didn't say first appearance. It Are you abbreviating it, it or did they? Yeah, I'm abbreviating it. It okay, said okay, high okay. grade. All it said okay. was X-Men. Oh, oh, okay. Volume one. I thought it was Mercury. Yeah, yeah. Would that is they would have a harder time. With yeah, their own. all it said was X-Men 107 high grade. That's all it said. Okay, it I got you. That's fine. I put same as above as in, you know, I check out the condition of these books and I actually had both of them pulled up and I, I, I couldn't tell the difference. I did a blind test to see if I could tell the difference. I actually, if I think the fine minus was probably in better condition. Is it HG or FN minus? Oh, yeah. So, uh, but there you go, $66. However, interesting enough, interesting enough, the uh, CTC books in this category are selling as long as you, for if you get down to nine, uh, two, it's like 200 bucks. But interesting enough, if you can get these in the higher grade, and maybe why these near mint listings are now going for about 140. The CGC 96 recent sale, $750 on this book. Yeah. And a 9-4-357-92. If you remember not too long ago when we were tier listing this because of something else, that was not anywhere close to the grades that they were getting for this. So just so you know, kind of an update book there. Why I did that is so that I could feature this character. Uh Zenith, I guess is how you pronounce her name. Yeah. Yeah. Like the old TV sets, but yeah. I don't remember her. Okay, so this this is what, how you remember. She is okay. the cousin of Gladiator. She's also like the henchman, the right man. That's Vulcan. That that's cut out. Oh, of the gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. it's like Gladiator is like the main guard for uh, what's her name? Uh, the queen, Melandra. Yeah, and she is now she left his side and became the main guard for there. She also had a change. She shaved her head. She used to be when you see her in her first appearance. She looks like She Hulk there, a purple She Hulk. Uh, but she's now trying to pick shaved. up Mjolnir. Yeah, shaved head and her cleavage pushes out to the center. I know this will make those of like J Joe uh, happy. So there we go. But that's not also why I'm putting it because we want X Men in space. She's like wearing and one of your shirts. She is. She definitely is. Yeah. I don't think yeah. she's taking a Grendel. 
in the Hearst book. She I'm might sure what a Grendel uh, is. Her think... first appearance, though, and this is why we're here because I always say, let's find a cheap book we can just throw in at the end. Uh, if you get a female Silver Surfer, what are the odds we might get a female Gladiator? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know, I know. The next book's great. The next book's great. Female Silver Surfer, female Gladiator, <laughs> Star Masters Volume 1, number one, Raw's VF at M250. Whole sets, near mint sets of this because there's three books in this set, sell for $5. Uh, Star Master, awesome. Star also, Masters. I want awesome. you to remember this '90s art because this influences, I think, some of the figures we're going to get to yes. that may have some real sweat action because they look ridiculously pumped like these. Beta Ray of, Bill and Silver speaking, Surfer. Speaking, speaking of, speaking of, yeah, a lot of tape. You're right. Speaking of, speaking of um, characters, we're going to cover. I want to cover uh, some wrestling characters. You know, I like to add in not just dollar books we can find or stuff that's probably cheaper than it should be. Also, try to link it back to our tier list. Uh, <clears throat> so, I'm covering. Got to uh, figure out everybody on that. <laughs> Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. I know, dude. I know, bro. Got to figure out Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. Awesome. Right? Junkyard Dog, a little giant. Uh, These are more. Iron 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 Jim. Oh, you get uh, what's his name? He got Iron King Sheet. Kong yeah. Bundy over there. Uji. Rowdy Roddy Piper, Big John Stud. Piper, you get what's the um Mr. Fuji? Mr. Fuji, yeah. yeah. Fuji down there. All right, so I just use a picture of that just to say wrestling in general. Uh, for those that don't know, Marvel actually did have WCW championship wrestling. It WCW. went through for 12 issues. Those the W. Most of them had Sting on the cover. So they were all like live photo covers. Um yeah. this Stinger, which is 11, second from the end, does pretty well. Raw sell for $49.99, $29.99, $25. He, uh, the, but a CGC eight, five, only one of these books that I could find. Well, there's actually a signature one of who the heck was it? I think it's number one or two. Whoever's on the cover of that they've got signed and signature series, but a lot of these books didn't get graded. Um, if you can number find these books, Sting as well, wasn't it? what's that? Number two was sting as well. I believe there's a lot. There's like five, the stings yeah. on like three or four. A lot of, of sting covers. covers on this series yeah, on this series, but uh, somebody just listed it as WCW 1992 World Championship Wrestling comic book and sold for 99 cents. Uh, wow. Yeah. And I think that person turned it over and ended up selling it for $49.99. Nope. <laughs> Number two was your boy, Ron Simmons. Was it Simmons? Yeah, Simmons. Well, who's is... on one? No, you know who it is? Lex Luger. Luger. Lex Luger. Luger's on one. Yeah, Lex Luger. So the number one, there is a signature series number one out there. Yeah. Gotcha. Damn. Ron. And Ron's coming back. Is Ron coming to Detroit? Luger's on the list. I didn't see Ron. Hmm. Uh, they usually travel together. So yeah, it might uh, be. I, I wanted to add in another book in the series. The rest of the books don't sell for that much. Another book in the series that does sell, though, is uh, volume one, number 12. Uh, with Isn't that Vader underneath that mask? Yeah, I think it's Vader. Yeah. Big Van it's Vader. Last, it's the last issue. So you it's the last, last issue. Yep, it's the last issue. This also in high grade goes for about $50. In other grades, it goes for $25. Bucks. Just Real so quick you know, correction, Ron Simmons is, is coming. So you're yes, right. Thank you very much. Damn. I can't wait. I love him, man. He's a great dude. So good. Likes to talk football too. Um, anyway, so here you go. So we've got the uh those two are probably two you should look for in the series if you can find them because they actually go for decent money and a lot of times get overlooked. Stinger Invader. We will not give up, but I know we've covered Battle Mania before. Oh, yeah. Um for those people that don't know, number three, which you see there with the big boss man, that is a Ditko cover. That one and number one, which has got the Ultimate Warrior on it, typically go for about the forty dollars range. People while the rest the of the Mountie. what's that? People love the Mountie. That's what it is. They yeah. do. Uh, they just can't while get the enough Mountie fans out there, while the other books usually go from anywhere from like the twelve to twenty dollars range, uh, but the one and three are probably more powerful. You can sometimes get these sets for under a hundred bucks, which is nice because you get two books that you, if you want to, split out. Um, the purple on the Undertaker sweet, but it doesn't like it goes for 15. So there you go. Just keep in mind this was a Valiant series. They did um only five books in this series. 12 in the last one, five in this. You, you know what I found out recently? Mm -hmm. See Earthquake well, down below. Mm -hmm. When he was John, like on I'm that top. main event scene, like facing Hulk Hogan, he mm -hmm. was only in his like mid-20s at that yeah. time, but he looked like that he was, was like right 45. after Sumo Yeah. He's also a sumo champion. Did you know that? No. Yeah. In real life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually where he got to start was in sumo wrestling. He was like a sumo dude. John, Tenta. were they uh, the natural disasters? The natural yep. disasters. That's why the other group that we started off with, uh, the name of, yeah, we can't say what they're, yeah, they're going to take them down. 
All right, yeah, there's bushwhackers, yeah. Uh, anyways, so there we go. I was going to do the um, the time where Macho, or when the Ultimate Warrior had the Ultimate Warrior comic book out there and got a boner or raped somebody in it. I don't, shouldn't probably say that, but he did. It looked like no. it pretty much. I did not cover that book. It has dropped in price, though. And that's all we've got for this week for Under the Radar. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, a lot of books there to hunt. Now you know the prices. Now you know the covers. Any way you do it. Um, cool. I would also right, like cool. to preface I own 90% of those books. 95% of the books. wrestling stuff. Pretty much. Well, the I, wrestling I own stuff all the wrestling stuff. Like. Yeah. So we can get into our tier list. Where Where is oh. our... Uh... Tier list! Is that new? No, we've had it. I just don't always remember to play it. So we were going to have a special guest, Jack, uh, come in to do comics, but unfortunately he wasn't there, so we pivoted, as they said, real quickly. Yeah, to, it'll, it'll be on next week, so we'll get to that Blood Hunt stuff next week. To wrestling books, um, because... No, somewhat like, celebrate the biggest WrestleMania in history, WrestleMania sure, right. XL. Yep. The biggest yeah. one of all time was at Silverdome, 93,622. Well, this one's called XL, so it's... I don't care what it says. Yeah, because it's 40. All right. What happened to the comic collection? I don't know. What happened to the comic collection? What comic collection? All right. So, so our uh, comic collection with the wheel, we'll get back to it. We, we just ran it for so long, so often. It's We just got a little. We were going to do it we next week. Worn out. But now we have Jack, so we're going to come back to it again. Yeah. We'll come back we're, to it. Two weeks. We'll, we'll have three. it back in two weeks. We'll something. come back to the collection in two weeks. Um, the portfolio. Uh, also, too, these guys, we were going to do the portfolio this week, but these two guys wanted to go on about wrestling. Uh, yeah, it doesn't need wheel. I, Matthew, I tried. I lost the war. If you guys have a problem with I it, got a, I got a new wheel idea. That's <laughs> these two guys wanted to get rid of that, and then they wanted to talk about WrestleMania. As I said, we've already ranked that type of stuff. If we're going to do anything on wrestling, we're going to rank toys that I like. So we're going to go over the LJ. Uh, um, LJN got, toys. We got three groups. And then we're also going to go we over those the other ones, the weak ones. We got the Hasbros, and then we got the Jack Specifics. I and since I mentioned the Sweat Jack Specifics last yes. week, I think we're going over those two. So yes, at least yes. I saved you all from what they were going to do. Before 2000, before the year 2000. So don't I should have brought yell at me down. about any, uh, anything. Can I, bring, that? Should I, I go up real quickly and grab all the LGNs I have so we can see how many of them you put in this list? If you want to. I'm going to go do that real quickly. And we're going to start off then. Uh, instead of that way, we'll go from the bottom. We'll start off with a uh, bone crush. What was the oddball stuff? What is this nonsense? That comes All right, you guys go. go. Give me one second. I gotta get some drink and you decided to go there first. Can we go back to number one, Pete? I got to find where he did this. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Get, yeah. Yeah, was supposed to be. Let's try with number. Well, he wants to be here for the LJ, and that's why he made us go that way. That makes sense now. It's all right. Well, we'll probably we end up talking about it yeah. for a bit because all well, right. it's 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 this guy. It's it's a classic. Yeah. Terry Balea. <laughs> <laughs> Only. <laughs> There's still rumors he might show up on on uh, this weekend. Yeah, there's rumors that everybody could show up. I mean, I know. seriously, I've heard so many. I, mean, I can't even watch all the videos that we get in our chat. So many. Oh, God. Damn. Thanks, Dom. It's like everything. I see him, too. <laughs> There's way too many links. So many links. I can't. I can't. Um, Dom's like a spam bot in our chats. Just, just, just seriously. Just constantly. Um, we uh, are actually uh, hosting uh, people for a little get-together yeah. on Sunday night. So it was yeah. kind of a... We thought about it, and then we kind of asked uh, some friends, and everybody's like, "Yeah, hell yeah, we'll come over and watch." So, cool. yeah, we're gonna have some people. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna take a couple of pics of some things that are gonna be at the thing, so it'll be pretty funny. Yeah. Well, I would come if I was over by you guys. Heck come yeah, Sunday? <laughs> yeah, Sunday night. Like Sunday night, it's gonna be. Well, my son can't stay up because he's got school the next day, uh, so he's gonna have to go to bed, and then my wife's gonna be like, "All right, I'm gonna go in the back. Let me six, know who wins." Yeah, six hours. Six well with the pre-show, six hours. It's crazy per night. Yeah. So it's gonna be nuts. Well, Saturdays gonna be even worse because you got NXT. I I watch NXT, so I oh. was curious to stand and deliver, and that's on at noon. Oh yeah, I'm not. 
I'm not going to watch that. I mean, I might have it on. But... Friday night, you got SmackDown, and then you got the Hall of Fame inductions. So... Too much. Too long weekend, man. And then Monday. And then you still got Monday. We got to watch Raw. Okay, so let's. Uh, so we've got one one vote in the chat. This is this Hulk Hogan. This was like the biggest guy who, like, of wrestling. Yeah, he, Everybody he loved was, Hulk Hogan. That is he was wrestling. Yeah, he was wrestling for years. Um, I mean, these figures like were pretty. What's the criteria? Was, the criteria is really anything you want it to be. I mean, we don't want to go just based off of value. Uh, some of these figures have, obviously do have value, but others don't have it as much. It's also not just a popularity con. It's however you feel about it, whatever angle you want to take. Yeah, whether it's value, whether it's collectability, whether you had it when you were little, whether your mom threw it out. Um, I think Marco got lost on his way to find his uh, LGN figures, or maybe his kids playing with them or something. I don't know. No school for the eclipse. Yeah, I do. No, I did hear that. I heard that yesterday. That really? there were schools yeah, that they were handing out glasses at my son's school for the for the eclipse. Yeah, there... It's going to happen like at the end of the school day, like at like three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, we are in uh, the total part. Part of Mi uh, Michigan is in the total total whatever it's called. The total eclipse of the heart. Totally, exactly. <laughs> Did you guys throw Turn that in the trash? Around. I had a I, I oh. had a very interesting conversation with my wife, and I would like to take an opinion from the chat. I was just, now we're gonna I go was, pivot yes. to the eclipse before we get back to Hulk Hogan. Okay. I I I I I just was informed that is a hundred percent inappropriate that if uh, your child uh takes your wrestling toys and plays with them and keeps them in his room, you cannot in the middle of the night when he's sleeping go up there and recover said toys. Um, I told you this kid had him. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so I only got a couple. So I only got a couple. I didn't well, to get the we only went to one. We started off where we should have started at the top. With Hulk Hogan? With Hogan. Hogan. Let, me see. Let me see if Hogan was one of the confiscated ones that I got back. It is. Leg drop. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Ah, leg drop. Oh. Uh, from the top, ah, there you go. Oh, All right, figures, man. Hogan is one of them. Yes, Hogan is one. It and is so big for that ring that they. <laughs> yeah, the oh, little tiny ring, ring. the no, giant yeah. figures. But he had yeah. multiple things. This is what's awesome about him. One, you could get a leg drop going on. He flexed to do a leg drop. Two, he definitely would pick up Andre if he had him. The body slam too and easy. Like, in the air, and he could just hold somebody and just drop him all day long. He's definitely yeah. an S tier type product. Oh, uh, the chat says no, either C, C or B, and an A. Yeah, not everybody. Oh, another C. Hmm? I say at least an A. He's an A for sure. He was the. I mean, he was he was the guy. Oh, man, sure. but, uh, but as this toy, he was a cool toy from it. Because like some of them didn't have like yeah, good. some of them had some awkward poses that really limited what you could do. Let me see if I grab somebody who we don't have, so I can show you where like a bad pose would be. Your man has a bad pose in this series. You okay, yeah. Big, well, here, so like this is this is Mr. Wonderful. As oh, you can see, yeah. he's taking a lot of damage. Hulk More has given him plenty of these. But like, see, with Hulk, you can get him like this and boosh, drop him on his head. Like, what can you do with Paul Diesendorfer? Yeah, but he's just posing. Yeah, he's he just posing. He, just, he was terrible, a poser. Terrible figure. All right. I think the Hulkster's an A. I agree. All right. Next up, let's see if we I have this him, figure. He's, he's, he's getting that Cyclops Duke vibe out of you. He's just too yeah. vanilla. Not I vanilla at all. And wonderful. And says A. Wonderful hair. Are we not, are we moving on or no? Yeah, let's move on. All right. And and beautiful, beautiful hair. Beautiful hair. Oh, beautiful yeah. Hair. You got the one with the lovely hair. There is a later version where he has short hair. But I Andre the Giant. He's <laughs> built well. He is built well. He goes well with Hulk. Uh, as you can see, see you go, you as you can see, he's built well to go with the body slam with Hulk. His size comparable. Epic moment he's from WrestleMania big, 3. He's a big figure. It, big John Stud was like big too, but he definitely, uh, ooh, but he's got some good playability with him. Uh, I mean, he doesn't want a peanut a, all he did was bear hug people anyways and then just slam them a lot and punch them in the face. Uh, I love the hair. 
<laughs> as a child, that was what's that? <laughs> the non-articulated wrestling. <laughs> hey, uh, it is what we had, man. It's what we had. Thunder lips. Outside okay. of GI Joes, even think about our Star Wars toys. Yeah, they were articulated at five points. You could turn their heads. Their arms went like this, and their legs went just as stiff. Like that's it. That's it. That's all you got. I'll say. I'll say. I don't even know if you put the guy in here, but I will say as far as the characters, because Andre was bigger, he was a little bit different. I liked him. That it, uh, Andre the Giant was my favorite. My son's Andre favorite kid. The least when he was about two years old, he crawled over or like walked over and picked him up out of, like picked him up out of a bin because it was by a bin they had toys in. And then he like used it as his teddy bear. So, <laughs> I mean, what what else is left to say about Andre? He's eighth wonder of the world. He's like Joe saves from Grenoble, France. Yeah, <laughs> I'm he's also Andre. He's yes. also a princess. I'm he's also a princess bride. Man. Great movie. Yeah. Oh. He would have been with Billy Crystal and My Giant if he didn't pass. That's the sad thing. <laughs> That's what that movie's you, about. Hey, hey Bri, you had sweating fucking yeah, slay enough for me to swear. Yeah, we'll, we're getting to that. We're getting to that. We got to go first with the big rubber guys first. Yeah, I, I think we're coming to that. Easily an eight, yeah. uh, in my school rooting for him versus Hogan. He was he was actually more popular than Hogan in everything but WWF. People love him everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. Towards the end, too, like the Bobby the Brain Heenan really made him a villain. Oh, 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 see, oh, bro, he had a bad pose with this one. You couldn't do a lot it with him. It might have been a bad pose, but the macho man had to be the teammate to have. You had the twin towers shaking it down, or the mega powers, mega bringing powers. It down. Twin towers was the other guys. No, twin towers, was the other, yeah, they're bringing <laughs> it down. Hey, just I'm trying to play with figures here. Legit. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. I got a lot going on. Big meaty men slapping beef. I mean, how many times did and you have the bot steal today. Hogan's belt? All the time. All the time. Stealing the Hulkster's belt. The end. Obviously, I like Mach better. He has the glasses. He's got the band. I think they're right about Hogan. He was playing. And by the time... You got the figure, you know, it should have been a little bit more bald on Hogan That's, than it was. Uh, this is what I'm wondering. Hmm. What? Is there uh, a tier higher than S for Macho Man? Not the Macho Man tier. It's the cream tier because it rises to the top just like the Macho Man himself <laughs> does. Cream tier it is. This is what I'm telling you, mean. Gene. No, I didn't see you playing with your toys again. <laughs> what? Dark helmet and runners and play with his action figures. Yeah. Just making me all jealous. Uh, uh, it's S tier. He's S tier. Yeah. I, I'm not going to argue with that. I mean, this is probably it's not much. the figure to get you there, but. Oh, yeah, it is. It was where I put him in the first one. S tier it is. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Then we got the. <laughs> Fuck it. Again, it's a rough pose. It didn't give you a lot. It to wasn't just with. the pose. Hey, it wasn't just the pose. I mean, if you wouldn't put Hot Rod on his shirt, you'd have no clue who this guy was. Yeah. It's a rough everything with, with Rowdy Rowdy Piper. His face looks squished. Everything looks bad. It looks like he oh. has an infection on his leg on this figure in the picture, but <laughs> it's like what happened? He's got a bit wide Black Widow spider. You see the ring? Yeah, I mean, it's a tough. I mean, I guess if you had the, the carpet or skirt, maybe, but like a lot don't have that. I don't even it's remember that being on it. Um, so, and the hot rod does, the hot rod rubs off all the time. So then you just got some like mutton chop dude that you're like, what is his pose even? I mean, the man himself was a legend. The figure. Bigger, the figure hurts this one. I, I will give you, yeah, that. Joe. It's hard to find. I mean, the kilt is just like, I love whatever. Roddy Piper, but me too. This figure was rough, not to so good. Work with, unfortunately for him, yeah. Uh, so, Cosmic, I could go up to A. I feel like he's more of a B just because of the figure, but the personality of Roddy Piper could get me to an A. But yeah. well, I got to meet him once, and he literally right. was right. one of the nicest guys. 
He is. That's well. why I hate to do it, but oh, I, I agree with I Matthew. Mean, I think he's C. I think this figure is C tier. Hope we're probably like get to oatmeal. Be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might lean more towards our trail with the B, but I'm fine with the C. It just wasn't great. I'm with C, but I it think it's going to get put for in the B just because of the way the people are I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote B. I'm not gonna give him less than a B. All right. I, I have this next figure. I, we just don't have it down here. Um, very underrated figure, in my opinion. Uh, Which one? Oh yeah, JYD. J- JYD. Great I wrestler. Does he, have, does he have thump written across the back of his? his yeah, his pants. He do, He has something, right? I'd have to go check. They, they was thump back in the yeah. day. I just couldn't. I just couldn't remember if the figure did. But I used to like a junkyard dog. Yeah, there's JYD, only a couple man. versions with the chain. The chain could mm-hmm. be different. Mm-hmm. There's like an all black chain, and then there's lost all the chain. Anyway, chain. So doesn't matter. The chain, the chain was gone. All, all, the, yeah. all the accessories for these figures, were, like the belt split, the Hogan belt would split like in an instant after mm-hmm. you changed it out three or four times. This chain, I think, broke. Plus, I'm not quite sure how appropriate, or whatever. Um, but even though I like him, he, his pose is like, what's he gonna do? Cup you in the nuts? Yeah, he's gonna tell you turn your head and call. He's an astronomicon. He's trying to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Beat me to it, Pete. So unfortunately, <laughs> I got to give him the same grade I gave Piper, which is a C. No, he gave Piper the B. Well, I gave Piper. Gave a C. A C. I got to give the ju- I got to give the junkyard a oh, C. That's what the rough part about this. I loved all these guys because they were they were the dudes that when I was a kid. But me too. I love them, but like this figure kind of sucks. Yeah, the figure does kind of. I mean, I can't can't change that fact. Cup your nuts, cosmic. I mean, the one good part about it, if they would have left the other hand open, it would have been okay because then you could have like used them to. He could have been like, like, yeah, he's trying to do. Yeah, it looks like. But like when you put him on the grip thing and then try to put it, he just rolls off, so you don't get a. This is D. I get it. It's cartoon fair. Was good. Yeah, That's why I showed the cartoon thing up there. You got a C and a D in the chat. C. Another I think C. I got I got him in C right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think Let's we got him in C. JYD. I don't want him to get pulled down. Yeah, I don't either. I think we got him in C. So I'll see. Yep. Oh, well, we you got two. We got a couple he's more. C's a D. No, that's that's just he's that's not. Oh, good. he's joke about hitting him in the tank. Uh, <laughs> S tier, yeah. S not a good tier. Word. The Iron Sheik, S tier. Somebody stole the Iron Sheik. I wish I had the Iron Sheik back. F U P. Whoever stole the Iron Sheik for me, I didn't I not see the Iron Sheik. I like to. I said F U. Whoever stole it. I thought you people, said you me. No, not you. <laughs> not you. But yeah, I mean he. A tier, man. Like, I thought. I number Sheik, one, number one, WWE w- 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 champion. Dude, what was cool about him too was like, I'm at least, cut, I'm with sticks. I'm at least an A. He's right there. You could, him. you could, you, he. As you can see, this person did the same thing I did. Look at his elbow; it's all marked up. You want to know why? Because all you did was have Sheik just elbow people in the heads, elbow them in the back, elbow yeah, them in the. That's nuts. not wear on his elbow. That's paint from other figures. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the hair from other figures. <laughs> that's from him elbowing people in the nuts because that's what you do with this figure. I, this is S tier for me. So S tier for me too. You got a bunch of A's and S's in the chat. All right, well, I know, yeah, right. Like I said, I was at an A. Yeah, his Twitter account is S anyways. He is a legend. Up there. Either way. He was a legend. Actually. Damn it, where'd he go? There he is. The other big figure, which is a shit compared to Andre. <laughs> this is this figure's the shits. Billy, what? Hilly, Billy, Hill, Billy, Jim. Billy, 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 messing with the country boy. I yeah. didn't like this character. Hill, Billy, nope. Jim could eat a fat. For you younger folks, this is sausage. not Hagrid. This is hey, this is the guy that <laughs> not called Hagrid in. from Harry Potter. This, this is, is the Hill, guy, Billy, Jim. this is the guy that called into the Jimmy Dean hotline and complained how you expect to feed four full grown adults, including a girl who weighs 210 pounds on a six ounce jimmy dean sausage roll and what's this bs about sage in the sausage roll ain't nobody wants sage in their jimmy dean sausage roll just give us the 12 ounce 
family style sausage roll You're for going, me, really my going. two kids, daughter weighing 220 pounds, son weighing 300 pounds, and my wife. We are very large people. This is who this is. Get rid of this piece of trash. That that was a very long story. <laughs> do you guys not know like the do you guys not know that at all? You don't know the Jimmy Dean sausage? Why do you hate sage and sausage? sausage? That's what he said on the on the voicemail. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh you guys don't know this? You don't know the Jimmy Dean sausage thing? I don't know. I didn't care to learn anything about some hillbilly that. called into the line and left this message about we'll listen to it later. Actually, we should listen to it now. I gotta pull it up in the other thing. All right, <laughs> let me pull it up. Give this, give the, Jimmy D. Yeah, you do. It's amazing. Thank you, Matthew. All right. Anyways, get rid of uh, get rid of this. Well, where are we putting Hillbilly? Uh, Nobody in the, in the in the chat voted for Hillbilly except Stick said it was Hagrid's Buggle job. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> Hillbilly and, sucks. Uh, yeah, I was actually sucks. never really a Hillbilly Jim fan. So no, I'm not even no, we got a C in the chat. C D. We may have just gotten trash, safe trash. from trash. Um, uh, he's here until oh, you guys save him. I'm not. I'm taking, not saving him. I'm not taking sticks as one vote to save him. Oh, we got a D from Matthew. Yeah, it's not helping much. No, <laughs> it's not helping. Another D from Martrell. I know you guys don't want to do it, but. Somebody's got to be down here. Oh my god! Probably, I'm not. I'm not playing. What's that? I'm not uh, putting this comment up. Yeah, d d d d d d d d d. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh, I'm leaving him in the bathroom, Brian. He, he's staying in there. I'm not moving him out until. You've been overruled. I'm just leaving him down there. I just wasn't a fan. I don't know where you people come from. I don't know if you test your products, your quality of your product. Your products are very delicious. Love your sausage for 30 something years, but I can't take and feed a family of five on a little 12 ounce roll of sausage. I don't mind paying you more money for your 16 ounce roll of sausage, but you don't have it anymore. You've got a 12 ounce roll. And you've got three men that weigh over 200 pounds apiece, a woman that's a little plump, a Scotch girl, and a daughter who's 13, and you're going to try to take a 12-ounce roll of sausage and a couple of dozen eggs and feed that, it ain't going to work. And I'm not going to purchase your product anymore or ever again. And as far as your 16-ounce of maple and sage, I don't eat that. I'm not from the north. I'm a Texas man. Jimmy Dean sausage is for southern people to eat with the breakfast, with the fried eggs and the T-bone steaks. And I can't see going to a little 12-ounce package to feed four, Wait. five, six people. You've got steaks, not too? not buy two of those 12-ounce packages just because you want to downsize and charge the same goddamn price. I'd sure like a reply, and I'd sure like you to go back to your 16-ounce package on your regular sausage because I'm not going to buy it otherwise every again. I'll just have my own damn sauce made like I used to 30-something years ago. It's not as tasty as yours is, but it'll work. <laughs> Goodbye. What a 12-ounce goddamn roll of sauce is supposed to feed your brother and me and you, 600 pounds of men at least, you get my point, and the two girls, and they put it in that fucking pussy roll of sauce. Son of a bitch. Somebody needs their ass kicked. Some of a consumer geek of roll and fuck this shit up. Save money, yeah, save money. He's like replying to himself. <laughs> His wife, he forgot to hang up the phone. <laughs> He's like this wife in the background, dude. It's like, you guys have never heard that before? No, why no. the hell would I heard that? Yeah, dude. why why would <laughs> I heard like that? 20 years old, man. I don't know, dude. Dude, yeah, he does say <laughs> anymore, never again. He says that bullshit sage and maple. Oh my god, dude. He <laughs> oh he, he's like, a, Wait, you're having eggs and steak and, <laughs> and the sausage? And, and two dozen, and sausage two dozen eggs. Two dozen eggs. And he wants two 16-ounce regular rolls, not sage and maple. Like, how, 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 first off, why are all those people living in the house, I guess? Number two, what the shit? 
Like, you know how much you eat for breakfast? That's breakfast, man. For breakfast. I, he didn't even mention it. He said rolls. He didn't say how many rolls he eats, too. Because they, they didn't say croissants. You know what I mean? They probably use country rolls, too. So that means they probably... Yeah. I just don't... Just get two. <laughs> that pussy roll on his head. No, 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 no. The best, is, the best is he was, like, so nice. He was trying to, like, hold himself back. He was like, thank you very much. Goodbye. And he thought he hung up. This is, like... I, originally, I think I heard this because it's, like, what happens when your parents call the consumer line when they first get a cell phone? Like, that's how old this thing is, right? So... It was supposed to be a prank of like, you know, I mean, it's gone great. Like the sage and maple thing. I, I, I have not heard that, but that's what I think about when I think about Hillbilly Jim. All right. Anyways. Yeah. Then he just starts. You can, if you actually listen to the audio, you can hear his wife in the background. He's talking to his wife uh, about how the hell I'm going to go with pussy roll. Yeah. All right. All right next no. up. <laughs> We're going to be editing that out later. Uh, is this Steamboat? Yeah, shit. This, this doesn't even Ricky look the like Steamboat. He does have the hand of death grips, which is kind of interesting. I'd probably say this is C. It, it was not his uh, best nice. look for a figure. Why would you have him coming off the top? Like I, yeah, I didn't I, design this, and, and just the generic black pants. Yeah, coming off the top rope, give him a headband, do something with him. You know, if you could put a chain on Junkyard Dog, you figure you could do something with that. I don't, I don't know. Opportunity missed. <laughs> there is, there is, there is. But there I'm is. a big, I'm a big Steamboat fan. But yeah, you know, I have too. One I of the best, the best figure. matches of all time. Match, uh has We're a, Steamboat has, WrestleMania yes, three. WrestleMania three. Still, we're at, we're at Dump. Pontiac Silverdome, right here in the great state, state of Michigan. Michigan. Pontiac Silverdome. Yep, ninety three thousand plus. Ninety three thousand one hundred and seventy three. Seventy three. Yep. There you go. Yeah, I think he's going on in the house. Is that what we're calling it? Reinforcing? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot Just of something going loading on. Loading up. Yeah. Jeez. Jesus. That, that wasn't, and like, that's not even like a holiday breakfast or something. Figure that's an everyday talk, breakfast, dude. Figure let me down. All right. Do I have this figure? I do. Ah, oh, of course <laughs> I do, because you know where this guy's from. George Thanks. the Animal Steel. I love how they textured his flesh to look like the fuzz. hair. The Greek, this guy, first off, wonderful uh, Greek uh, American legend, George the Animal Steel. Uh, they gave him the uh, all the Greek hair that you need. Green tongue, turnbuckle eating. Did you know that he was still coaching wrestling at Warren High School? I think you told was, me that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they did. They gave him all the hair. Uh, S tier. He's got the green tongue. He's got all the hair of a Greek. Uh, get him out there. He looks like about five of my uncles. Um, I'm yeah. still top, I'm <laughs> top him at A. He does. He does. He looks like, like about five. I, 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 I was, was like a big fan of George the Animal Steel. He was entertaining as hell as a kid. But, again, facing off the figure, he didn't give you a lot of opportunity to do anything. Yeah, because all – yes, he did. He licked you. He would run around and lick you. Yeah. 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 This is what you're saying. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to run around playing with my toys, having one of them lick all of the other toys. That's all yeah. he's going to do. He can do stuff. You know which one? You know, you're complaining about all this. Uh, a tier, just because he's Greek and from Michigan. That's uh, what I said. I said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan yeah. of the guy. I like the wrestler. The toy let me down a bit. Just like Steamboat. Steamboat would have been higher. If I was ranking the right. wrestler, he'd be higher than a C. But that toy, toy let me down. Dude, it's a pretty cool story, Brian, that the guy gets to showcase in, uh, at a hometown show. Uh, you got a B, but we got a, we got a couple of A's. Oh, Brian's giving Oh, Brian, no, no, no. We're going to put him in A. This is the figure that I can't believe you didn't put in there because he was posed a little differently. Jesse the Body Venture, because you could always do this right, one well, right here. I, goes, who should okay, I have taken out? I don't know. Yeah, it's a pretty good list. Now, okay, so the, like I didn't want to list everybody. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, because it gets long. Yeah. Uh, all right, those are that grouping. The next you group, the one is, weirdo for them. There you go. The next grouping is wait. Oh, this was the tag team thumb wrestling. This is the extra your, for this group. Yeah, you put your thumb <laughs> up their butt. Yep. <laughs> you put your thumb up their butt. Up their back. 
<laughs> yeah, it looks like you put it up their butt. For yeah. thumb wrestling. They had a whole bunch of these, whole different sets and pairings. The butt thumbers. These were... Well, I had the bendies. We had the bendies as an option, too. Big the surprise these were on clearance. <laughs> Big surprise these thumb guys. Clearance. Like there, there was a JYD thumb guy. They look, you can, they show you guys how you wrestle with them. They show you around the yeah, butt. mud butt thumb wrestlers. These are at least an A to me. <laughs> these are not an A. These are C. Plus. They're all ready for action. Yeah, even with the big holes in the back. I'm not throwing my thumb up some dude's butt. I'm just not. But you didn't it. have to. You can just wrestle with the normal. They look, look at, they look like they're squatting down. They to all take look. Your thumb I get it. They all look like they're taking a shit. I know. Yeah, they look like they're squat. Let's stick. <laughs> like, come on, let me stick your thumb on my butt. Like, uh, on, popping out of his head because he's B for butt. Okay. All right. Give it a B for B. butt. B for I don't think so. <laughs> but give it to Zaggy because he said B for butt. All right, get it out of here. Butt wrestlers. Oh, we got to get to the Hasbro's with the. I can't believe crack. you did this with the Hasbro's. I was gonna get the Hasbro's. These were the ones where you could turn the side and they would snap. Yeah, uh, they had different different actions. These did have a little bit of articulation. You could move most, almost every one of them had you could move. Every one of them had like a spring where you could snap the mid place and then you could move their arms up. It was so it's one, two, three, four points of articulation, I guess. No, one point of articulation, four different uh, spots. Four. <laughs> Four. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, waist, arms, and head. Yep. Yeah, because their legs were, were pretty stable. So they could see sus. It was sus, our trail. It was very sus. I don't think it's that's fake, fake Raven. Raven. I think that's, that's real this Raven. Not fake Raven. This is this is real and razor. This is a real razor. Hey yo. There's I'm also good. eleven this was waves. the bad guy. They had eleven <coughs> waves of this series. Yeah, they did. This, this is actually, uh, <coughs> this is one of the, the middle, later waves. Like, yeah, this was like seven or so. Yeah. It was somewhere in the middle. Gold chains too, which were amazing. But it was the first this, razor. This one's A. This one is A. A yo. <coughs> and it got better. Yeah, like in the first one, in the first couple waves too, you actually only some of them you couldn't move their upper body parts. Oh yeah, some of them you'll get. We'll get to them because some of them were really limited. This is like A or S. Either way, it's it's a great. It comes with chains. It came. It, it was a good figure. I never had this figure. I wish I did. Yeah, I never had this either. I don't know why they're saying that with Razor's Edge. That wasn't oh Razor Rage. Yeah, with Razor yeah, Rage. Rage. I think I read it when it was smaller. I thought it was Razor Edge. I was like, no, then he'd have to have his hands up. <laughs> that razor is terrible. It would have been cool if he did get to flick the toothpick, yeah. Uh I actually think it's one of the A's in this line, but if everybody else doesn't, I don't know. Well, we have no votes in the, the chat grade. except Bry J says terrible, but he it's only likes figures that have real face scans. Our girl gave him an A, looking the two pictures. Oh, yeah. All right, next up, and here we go. This is one of the figures that kind of turned, but then would do. So this was a. This is not the first motion, but this is the second motion. So you could click the arms too, so they make. Um, hold on, I should show it. A lot of times the arms would be at the same level, but you could click them to make them differently. But Dusty had like he had the the scrape one. It, he got the scrape. Yeah, I think one it was like a motion. Like he had like the spring. His hand would come down. Yeah, so you could pull it up after you, you set could pull up. Pull it up higher. So it would end. And then he'd scrape it down. Yeah, and then it would end up here. And you could have a the dust buster. Head. Yeah, you could dust bust them too. But I think this was actually wave two that Dusty yeah, was in. You move the dust buster lower. This this one still sells for good money. The dust buster's punching in the nuts, right? That's what the Dustbuster was. Correct. That was the move. The Dustbuster was when he punched somebody <laughs> in the cojones. In the cojones. It's a real wrestling action. Yeah. Ding, ding. There you go. All right. It was a good Dusty, too. For the Mundoins. S tier? I think so. For these little guys, I'll, I'll give the polka dot Dusty. I'll give Polka Dot Dusty some love. I'll, I'll agree with that. They got him on the nut puncher, too. So, like, there we go. Put him in the S. All right. Next up. Oh, fuck <laughs> this thing. Oh, no. This fucking the noogie. Thing. I don't know. I don't know why people. I've never liked Ric Flair. I had. This is also. I think he's a shit-ass wrestler. A shit-ass wrestler. And you can blame it on breaking his back and surgery. 
He can play. The only thing the guy ever did was the only thing he's ever drawn ain't crowds. It's blood. That's all he ever draws. So yeah. Shit wrestler. Why, why do you have your mouth open? Like Dusty just hits you in the nuts. Tom. I can't believe you're. He's overrated. Well, Ric Flair like that, dude. No, 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 no. Bullshit. For, for 30 years, Ric Flair was just an abysmal fucking character that nobody gave a shit about except for some fucking inbred hillbillies, which remembered him he, back in the fucking day. day and he had, he wasn't he good. had his time. But admittedly, even for old dudes he's, like me, his time was before mine. Right. But and the only Rick reason Flair he got brought back me, he, he was all right. But. Is because when the new wrestling came out with this slapsticky, we don't really fucking sell anymore. Then you get the most overrated, non selling fuck you've ever seen before. That douchebag. Dude, remember through fucking most of the early 90s, he wasn't even fucking a wrestler. He was a leader of the four horsemen. He didn't even wrestle. Well, and when he did, by point. the way, by the way, it's some of his wrestling, it's time past. he's old. Do you remember, his wrestling was to have Dean Malenko do actual wrestling and have Mongo McMichaels, prayers out to you though, do Mongo McMichael type shit. Even the R, even Arn and Arn Anderson wasn't fucking wrestling at that point. It literally, he literally was just a dude that walked around and swung his dick at women in, in, in fucking uh, airplanes. That's what he did. He sexually harassed people. That's what his that and bleeding. That was dude. How many matches did he bleed? But again, if he, I'll be honest. If it well, wasn't let's, for let's also not lose track. We're not ranking the wrestler. Yeah, Marika the figure, which is dog shit figure too. Yeah, we're ranking the figure here. He so remember hey, that I not close, ranking the wrestler. But then he's giving I you will... a noogie. His wrestling movie was a noogie. That's what he did, Dub. That's a great wrestling move. Him and fucking uh, Bobby well, from Bobby's world they didn't had the, the same top. move. Like the chops could have been something you could have done with the figure, with the arm. You could have also given him a razor blade so he could cut himself like he did in almost every match in the 90s. But yeah, this figure, not great. No. It looks like somebody kind of surprised him with a thumb wrestler move. <laughs> His stories are. <laughs> somebody snuck up behind him and gave him a good old whoop. It's not a mark. This is what it, he's He's really... Uh, you I, are talking about one of the uh, whether you like him or not. Again, I get it. A lot of people are huge Flair fans. I just, I also wasn't a huge Flair fan, but are they though? Down like you? No, no, no. People like his stories now. That's what made him popular. But dude, Flair, what Flair didn't like for twenty to thirty years. There was Flair's biggest thing was oh, he's a legend and he'll bleed. Okay, well that's not a move. Bleeding's not a move. In the era of ECW, people liked him because he bleed, and he was supposed to be a legend. Like well, that's figure it. Four. Figure four is a legendary move. He's not. A, he's a douche. Okay, they're giving him C. Yeah, I guess you can give him yeah, a C. Yeah, this figure this sucks. Place. The figure sucks. The figure's not great. The figure's not great. Oh, figure God. speaking sucks. of another this figure that sucks and either. another overrated, self-imposed fucking douche snoggle. Uh. This guy in his plastic. Egg. What is he doing? Be, hey, this is like one he, thing. He always yeah. has nose in the air. That's one thing you can give Brett the shit man heart. This My figure daddy. looks like the special needs guy from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a bit of a sloth snarl. I don't know. Like, the only I, mean, I hate to say that about. I hate to say that about Bret Hart, but that. Why? The only that. heart boy that could actually wrestle is fucking Owen. And unfortunately, and I did not put Owen in. I will admit, I did not put Owen in. You I saw what they did it. to him. Ran out of room. Don't let Brett check your fucking bindings anymore. I don't know. This figure is not great. Again, it's sucks. not about the wrestler. Just like the I'm wrestler. also not the hugest Hitman fan. He's not, I mean, he is. Yeah, he is. actually, this kind of is an S tier figure. This kind of is an S tier figure. Zaggy's kind of telling the truth. You, I mean, you like it better than the Noogie? It looks like he's again. Yeah, he like is, he's like slow grooving. Like what's he? He looks like he's dancing. A technician. That's what you're going. All he could do is stretch. That's it. You had to let him stretch you. That's not a technician. That means he's a lazy dude. That all he could do is put you in a hole in a bar. Can can we please tell me what a technician is? Right. Like that's what we're talking about here. 
stroke face hit. Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, let's right. keep it to the figure. Let's keep it to Trent, the figure. I, 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 now, Zaggy kind of talked me into putting him in S tier. I can't put this garbage in S tier. <laughs> this figure is just not good. It's so bad, it might be S tier. It, it, it kind of looks like he's doing the Ric Flair strut a little bit now that I'm looking at it. Can you see? It looks like he's doing a little strut across the ring. D. Okay, you guys can put him in D. I think he should be an S, but I'm with Zaggy. But you guys can probably put him in D. It's not a great figure. This actually is not a bad figure. Uh, it's not, but it's a knockoff of Hulk Hogan's figure too. But yeah, yeah, yeah it Hogan. Is. In the LGN line, so I didn't. But that's because, but that's because I think that's because I, I think with this you could have him and Hogan lock up with the finger, like in the middle of the rings, because you could pull them both up. Well, this was so you can hold them over your head and throw them. But you could also do the, the typical yeah, lock you up. Could you could see lock up if you wanted them to hold hands. Well, slam down, slam down the Ultimate Warrior. But I was also um, not a huge Ultimate Warrior fan. I like the running. Hey, listen, the running to the ring the was finger, great. After that, he was. That's all you ever did. Run to the ring, and that's it. So then you just have other figures run to the and ring. run back and forth in the ring. Yeah. No, I mean not, not even that. Just get knocked out. Uh, the figure is good though. I give the, the figure, figure is not, the figure is pretty good for him. The B other one that a, they had, a or B, a or B, a or B. With a or B the, it figure. was just like he was like Ram Man. Like his his legs were straight up and down, and he just did like yeah. a jump. But this that is also this is wasn't this this was series one right. I think this is the second one because, like I said, the first one was a little shittier. Oh yeah, a little shittier. Okay, it was like I said, it was like the Ram Man, the He Man Ram Man figure where the legs were together. Mach, they also had a Macho Man version of that too. I didn't make them like, slow dance together. It was you they know, just kind of jumped straight up. Like I think they were jumping was their action. Like you Joe, pushed with them these down, fig- yeah, and they jumped. Which which ones? Not the first one. Not these ones. Not this. No, ver- not this figure. I'm saying the version before this. You couldn't make him jump. No, they were just flat footed. Because I have the first, I have like the Hulk, I have Hulk and Axe and Axe and uh, the Demolition and Axe and Smash. And then who else do I have? I have Mach. I think I have who, somebody else. Would be. Uh, Joe, these ones, you could move the arms. So you could have them one arm lock up. You didn't have to have both arms lock up. You could have them one arm lock up here. Oh, okay. You just, oh, no, you're right. Yeah, they didn't jump, but they, he was legs together jump. straight. Yeah, straight. Like, straight up and down. All right. So where are we putting him? I think he's got a couple. He's got some higher. Not him. He's an idiot. Uh, B, B, B. A lot of Bs. Figure, like, B. I, again, I'm B's not a fan good. of him, but the figure, I'll give him an A. I like the. Well, a lot of Bs. Holy oh, shit. The honky tonk. He's fine. Honky tonk, man. Actually, this is kind of a cool figure. You got a guitar and everything. It's it's an A for the figure. I mean, because you can That's actually hit people out here. It's for the figure. I mean, Hockey Talk wasn't wasn't my. Fi- he was actually a decent intercontinental wrestler. Not my favorite he was gimmick of all time. Gunther, the longest reigning intercontinental champion. I I mean, like in general, his ma- Speak of a technician in professional wrestling. Professional wrestling. Goldberg is the world's greatest then... wrestler. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Uh, but besides him, uh, Hoggy Talk Man was one of the best. I mean, he was up there as a better intercontinental wrestler. Like he really was. He he could move fast. He had his his gimmicks sucked, but he was actually pretty decent. So, but the figure's awesome. It's a tier. Figure's a tier. The yeah, figure is definitely a, a good representation, and it had the guitar. Had the hair, had the little shit shit stain in here. Yep, he could brain people over the guitar. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got next then. He got I, it. I, All I, right. I got him an A. Ravishing. Oh my god, rude. this is terrible. Rude. This, he he looks like he just smelled a butt. He just smelled like a vagina fart right in his face. Look at him. He looks like Keith Hernandez. He does. <laughs> this would only be cool if he had Cheryl's picture on his butt. Yeah, he had the pants. Or he had his own on his crotch. That's kind of weird that he put his own picture on his crotch a lot. And it was airbrushed. Yeah, airbrushed him. 
But look at that hair. It was feathered and lethal. Mouth in his donkler situation. Just weird. Plus, this looks like a... Cre this does look... Like, like we were talking about like uh, the fake toy. The Macho toy Man or fake Razor. This looks like fake... Um, fake Rick Rude. <laughs> That's not actually his favorite wrestler. We just clipped it because we thought no, it was funny. Yeah, right? it's not. I, what it, it was an argument. I said, if that's true, then Goldberg is your... is. In that, yeah, yeah, it would be the opposite. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think I might have actually been talking about Brett the Hitman Hart and said, yeah, if he's your favorite, if he's the greatest wrestler of all time, then Goldberg is the greatest wrestler of all time. But, uh, this is not a good representation of him, and they should have given him the... Did he used to have the spray can, too, at one point? Like the insect spray can, but he'd do it with perfume? Uh, no, that was Rick Martel. Was it? Yeah, because he had the arrogance. Oh, yeah. All right, either way, put this in D. It's very bad. Yeah, the figure sucked. Like, that, that's all. You can't do anything with that. The figure sucked, unfortunately, for Rick Rude. We're almost through these. Hey, they gave him a billy club. He, this is what, <laughs> they, hey, one of the first line ones this guy was. This is what they look like. They didn't have much moving, their feet were straight up and down. But yeah. what was cool about him is, you could then take him and do, like I say, where you switch the arms so the billy club would always be up. So then you could pop it up and down and look at his hand swing and beat the shit out of somebody with a billy club. Um, also, speak of that, great wrestler. Uh, underrated. Uh, across the board. <laughs> Big boss man. Big boss man. He lasted and longer than I thought he would have. I think th I think they should have changed his I think they should have changed his gimmick. And he would have been even more popular. Maybe not, though. I mean, I guess the police officer beat him. If they up. did anything, he would have been more popular. He was yeah. pretty popular as Big Boss Man, though. Was he, though? Hmm? Was he? Well, he's counting not that. Heel not to take. Yeah, he not was to a good heel. Gimmick from SNS, but was he, though? He's a good heel. Was he not a good heel? Did he, you not he hate him? He was a good heel because I, of that. Yeah. He had that natural disdain for his gimmick. He was good because he was part of Slick's team. Teamed up with Akeem. Akeem the Dream. Yeah, that was a, that was that was something. He that's also played, dude. He literally played the Guardian Angel. I mean, you couldn't have a more like. And when he came back as Ray Trailer, yeah, yeah, Ray Trailer. Where are we putting him? Where are we putting Big Boss Man? Uh, he, hey, he's got a Billy Club with him. All right, all right. He's up there with Honky Tonk, and Razor. he was the one man gang, by the way. That's why Akeem. he originally got hurt, huh? Akeem was the one man gang. Not oh, Akeem guy. was, yeah. I mean, that's who he teamed up with. Was yeah. Was the one yeah, yeah. He was Big Boss Man, and then he was Ray Trailer. He's Ray Trailer later on. Was yeah, that? and he got beat up by the NWO. Right, we got, we got one more. Time. We got one more of this line. Uh, before. He's just a great worker. Oh, I love this is for first series. Love it. And it came with the snake. I still have the snake. Still have the Jake. I mean, the snake is amazing, and he'll punch you in the face. He has the uh, python punch. He had that little <laughs> spring yeah. action twist. Dude, he had it all, man. Or Jake's no, it wasn't spring action. His arm was spring-loaded. Was his arm spring-loaded? Yeah, I'm looking at look at the inside of his it arm. It was. He had spring and right he still there. twisted. I think the first... I don't... That might have been a second version of it, because I don't think the first version did have the python punch. Maybe it did. Either way, S-tier. S-tier. He gets a punch. He gets a spring. He gets all types of stuff. S tier. Yeah, he's S tier. And not only was he awesome and he had Damien and all these things, it was because of him we got Austin 316. Where do we put BBM? A. A, cool. All right. Um, and then we got one fun one for this this toy line, which is actually from Tonka. It's I not, actually, I actually lied. The he's put up there. They're gross as shit <laughs> now. I don't care what I'm you say. You joking. cannot. I never got a wrestling buddy. Uh, all I ever wanted was a wrestling buddy. Never got him. They I never had one either. And you know, I was spoiled as a kid. I did not have one. I had a pillow person, a little boxer pillow guy, but I did not have a wrestling buddy. Yeah, I just shout out to the people who got it. Um, I never had a wrestling buddy, but my I son's got a Spider Man he uses as his wrestling buddy today. Like he beats up this Spider Man that we got at Target years back. <laughs> Even still, like he's eleven, but he still beats the hell out of that thing. Because well, what else is he gonna do? <laughs> I can't 
I can't let him do wrestling moves on me. It'll hurt me. I don't think there's anything more cool. Like these were the coolest things ever. I think they were the coolest things ever. Um, so I'm giving it an S tier. You had a warrior, Ryan. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. Any of them, match, of course, amazing. Any of them, S tier. Okay. Uh, next up, we're getting I'll agree. There, that was that, that was a fun gimmick. They, they were they were fun. <laughs> mm. Next up, I talked about them last week, so we got them. They were I forgot Here's what they were 90s called. Style exaggerate. Look at these guys. Look, they're talking about taking a dump. But why, what's with that wide stance? This is the Jack. It Jacks did these, right? Yeah, Max yeah, was sweat by Jacks. Bry J was saying they have the best. Whatever. Pretty much how these work is, I think you put in their back or something. You put water into it, and then they actually like ooze sweat out of them. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. I want sweaty yeah. figures. Gross. Uh, however, very popular figures. Good luck getting them. People like yeah, them. just so you can get that mold growing inside of them, nice and early. <laughs> Black uh, mold. Yep. Yep. Um, I don't know, man. I think they're unique. I just think who is this one supposed to be? Oh, this that's is supposed to be Hunter. That's Hunter. This is that's Hunter and her family. Are these early to make Farley? Yes, they are. Uh, <laughs> and Bry J did have this BS. There you go. <laughs> Matt, he had a wrestling cushion. Yep, that's what we had. Cool. Yeah, that's what we did too. We beat the crap out of each other with those. Ah, uh, I've never seen Hot Topic in an action figure. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Hunter's. T- this one's terrible. There's other ones that are a little bit better than this. Oh, well, we've I- got more. Good. I mean, if, if they had this one like spit water out of his mouth, then it would make sense. No, it comes that out of his like do. chest. I think. I think this is trash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is... You're gonna start. Yeah. All right. So, just... Triple H is trash. Trash. Trash him. Okay. I just want to see where we go from here. They don't Next up, Triple money. H again. Triple, Triple H, H. No. with red pants. That's Joe Michaels. <laughs> But they gave him a chair. What's the difference Since between those two figures? Chair, this he got a towel here, I think. They at least gave him a chair. He got a chair and look at that arm. It's like he's got a what's happening to it? Like Robert Lightfoot designed it. D. This is D tier. D. Because he's got a chair. How are you gonna do a super kick with that wide crap stance? Hey, as Bry was saying, the, the thing's got Seven uh, points of articulation, though, so it's more than our toys. Maybe eight. Who knows? They're like exaggerated He-Man figures. Are we trashing this one also? Yeah, I don't know how this comes out of trash. There's no Very trash. Yeah, I, that's what I mean. You're trashing Triple H. The Rock. The Rock. This one is not trash. This one is anything below below trash. No, this is the one where he actually his eyebrows raised. His eyebrows up there. <laughs> he always was fucking oily, sweaty, so it works on him. This is C tier at its finest. They all wow, nope. Have that sweat right. act. C tier. Forget that. C tier. You just you are just a rock. Ha- I don't know why you. No, I don't like the rock fingers. steal your girl or something. I don't know. Nope, yeah, no, this is about the rock. But out of these figures, I will say this one is better. This, this one is the better. Best. Than this one's one of the best. This is one of the best. Wow. Yeah, look well, just that's... like him. So see, all right, uh, yeah, well, knowing what I've, we've got coming, okay, I'll give you the. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yeah, look at what happened to <laughs> He looks like the. Bro, looks like this looks. Hey, this looks like, hey, this looks like a meth addict. Avenger. This looks like a meth addict. That's just strong, dude. No, it's Doctor Jekyll from *Leave Extraordinary Gentlemen*. Oh my god, he's got a small head. I like how we can see his woolly socks inside of his boots. Oh my god, this is whole, this is almost a because it's so bad. Look, he had a sledgehammer though. Look at his crack veins, dude. Let me have a sledgehammer. I'm just trying why to figure out the muscle. But why? Look why does Triple H have like a the, sledgehammer? What happened to his arm? Where is his bicep of all of the muscles? Why does his right arm not have a bicep? What happened to it? Yeah, this what figures our ass. Uh... He came with a fanny pack and BS here. Agreed. Talk about The Rock, I think. No, The Rock. Oh, The, the Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, I mean, Stone Cold is... Uh, he came with a vest. He did have the vest here, so that's kind yeah, of... Yeah, but the hammer probably should have gone, it. like I said, to Triple H. I don't know. Yeah. He should have come with knee pads. 
He should have come with a beer, <laughs> can of beer. Can of beer would have made it. His hand's ready for Yeah, that's why. Because they. Uh, uh, but I still think he's better. Or, oh, or I don't know. Is he better? Probably. Than... No, I think he's trash. He's also in the trash. What do you guys think? Come on, guys. They're making too many comments because it's fun to go after. It does. It, it looks like fun. he's got one big arm and one crack arm. I, I he might need to go in the trash with the other guy. Cole then. stroking. <laughs> he, he. Why is his hand clinched? I don't. Yeah, he's got to go down. <laughs> Holy shit! This that Gangrel, the, Undertaker. the Undertaker I gave you guys. It did look like Gangrel. That's who I was thinking it was. But there was a Gangrel thing. figure, but I did not put Gangrel in here. I tried well, to go hold on now. I, at least this guy looks like something, so I will. Well, they all look like something. Proportion. Yeah, I mean, they've got zombie versions of wrestling. Yeah, this is probably the best proportioned one. Yeah. So I'm going to give this at least a D tier. I'm putting him with a rock. He's putting it in a C. I'm giving Taker a C out of this group. Out of the group, he's. I think he's. He's just. He's one of the top of these crap designs. Yeah, he does yeah, look like low. C tier. I give it to him. C tier. Yep. <laughs> he ate Paul Bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the packaging was so bad too. Like Stone Cold looks like he smelled the dirty like underwear. <laughs> well, they needed yeah. to show him all sweaty. The best. The best is Austin. Is look at even the art. Austin's the background art, and he looks like he's about to take one in the mouth. <laughs> Look at all this. It's like they didn't do anything right. Agreed, yeah. Bryje. Agreed. What was their song? I can't remember it. It was just instrumental, and they would come out of the floor, and they would rise up. There you go. Call. This is another Edge. trash, because he looks just like the other two. Oh Look God. at that smirk. What is wrong with his chin? And it... He's got chin hair. Dude, look! Hey, look at how they got the rock and they got the sweat dripping off. And they, they're giving face. him like a little bit of a, so like a smirk kind of thing. Hmm. I couldn't well, find was a, a was a rock picture? line too. I, I know that the, the different colors were the different lines that they were. Or was rock the first? One? No, the rock I think was the next line. So this yeah, might actually one. be the year two thousand. Those are so sunglasses. The first line they gave him sunglasses as his. And he has a chair. chair. Trash. No, Wait, chair. How come we didn't get credit for the chair? No, that one has the the one was a special issue. I found that picture. It Which has one? like the fancy chair. It's a baroque chair. Yeah, not not the not a steel chair. Oh oh, he sits on the chair. He sits on a throne. He's got sunglasses. Yeah, oh, it's behind, the chair's behind him. That's stupid. Trash. <laughs> Neanderthal. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. He skipped arm day. He did compared to the others. He skipped arm day. What's up, know. Tommy Longbox? How's the road trip going? Let us know, bro. Still on there, probably. All right, next up. Couple left. I wonder if Tommy's one of the guys from overseas that loves wrestling. That's what I'm saying, Matthew. Okay, next up is Saki. Uh, yeah, I. I kind of want to give mankind at least a D to get him out of that trash group. B actually, B actually. That's Sako, Sako. He's got Sako. You want to give him got, a B? Yeah, he's got a chair. He's got Sako. B. He's one of the better. He's probably one of the best. He's at least I'll, C. I'd put him in D. He's at least C. Not trash. Uh, you want? Well, I could. I could no, make the argument. Put him with the Rock and Undertaker. Mm, 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 Rock mm, so mm. the Rock and Sock connection. Rock and Sako. Here we go. Give Pull that in. nasty, yeah. dirty sock yeah. out of his crotch. Yeah, they're getting a lot of season here. All right. It looks like this is C. Also, I'm looking at it, that three. Maybe that was wave three. So even though I said 2000, that this, was might, a different, this so might bleed no, 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 into no. Hold on. Yeah, but the blue one is different. The that was a special one, think, issue. Oh, that was a special issue? The, the sticker right by his head. There, I Like the picture, I found it. Oh, it so, was so, a special okay. issue of that one edge. So this is one. That was one. Well, where's the O face? Is that the O face? Yeah, it is. Okay, it's still. Yeah, O-face. that was definitely wave one of them. That was like he giving her, he giving her the O face. There was only like five of them, so I had to kind of fill out the line. So we did bleed into like they the gave me a box. He gets a box. He gets a box. And there was two <laughs> versions. There was a jacked up face and a masked one. So I did a packaged mask. The one masked one looks good. The masked one looks good. I would actually say the masked one probably is the highest here. Probably B tier. D 
yeah. I B, B, D. B, B, B. For the masked one. The masked one looks good. It actually looks good. Not the half mask that you show here. The yeah, actual one. That... figure. Yeah, I don't yeah, know but... how any of these go above a D, but these are all trash for me. D. Oh, safe travels, man, man. How'd you like it, Tommy? Did you have a good time? Hope you got in and out burger. Mm. All right. So we're putting him D. One one more figure and then our extra. This is so stupid. <laughs> well, you got a big show. If Except we didn't tell you good. who this is, who would have guessed? <laughs> oh, my God. There's no way I would have guessed no that. Big slow. No clue. Like, they literally, I think that's Paul Heyman's face. Again, it looks like Gangrel's face. case that opens up to wood. I don't understand this. I don't even understand what his accessory is. It, it's a broken table, maybe? I don't know. Wow. I don't know, but big show. Yeah, I, yeah I, we I, always I, have to fix the roads, dude. That's some hot garbage. Fix the roads. Yeah. This is trash. And then finally, did you guys never rank this? No, no. no we save it. Not. What is this? Saving it for you. It's yeah, like the, the newer version of the wrestling buddy. But oh, really? They gave him a rubber head. Oh, yeah, man. and like the bone, like really? the joint. That's spot. awesome because because all I know about the wrestling buddies is I went over to my cousin's house, who you know the rich ones, they're all doctors, and they had some wrestling buddies, but they didn't really watch wrestling, and all we did was take wrestling buddies and beat them in the head with them. Um, I wish we had this. No, I like my cousins. But if you did that with this, wouldn't you just hurt them? You should give yeah. this a rubber head. I think because everybody who played with everybody who played with the wrestling buddies, right? When you had somebody else, you bashed the other person with the wrestling buddy like a pillow fight, right? That's what you did. No, I would jump off my bed and do elbow drops onto my wrestling buddy if I had one, because that's no, what I did yeah. to my pillows and how not was everybody was a, a single i kid. treated most them people, like they were the most opponent people, because most people have multiple children of the same around the that's same the thing I, I didn't get a brother until i was already yeah 10 or 10 years old so what so you do with them is pretty much have a gigantic pillow fight type thing with them so this with a rubber head makes no sense because you just in hand look at that hand i think that one hands on backwards <laughs> it does look like it is. <laughs> like yeah. I think it's just as on backwards. I, 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 this is just dangerous because you're, just, on backwards. you're asking to injure a, somebody. Yeah, his head looks on backwards too. The shirt doesn't work. Maybe it is. Maybe they twisted it. Wait, the shirt was tucked in and then it's not tucked in. I don't know what's going on. This is just. Horrible. I don't either. But I picked there. There was a rock. There was a. Few, they had a few of these too. This is amazing, though. This so is uh, the, B. This is B just for fucking amazingness. Maybe even A. Um, I don't know, man. I don't want to tell you. You could really hurt somebody with that. Nothing says wrestling. They make, I thought they made noise. Yeah, the, the package makes it seem like they make noise. Bone crunching action. So these I might have had little sound too. boxes inside. We give it a D. Yeah. No, it can't be D. He said, "Oh, never mind." They make a they make a sound. So it's got to be at least a C, if not a B, for making sound. Uh, there you go. Put it with the thumb yeah. wrestlers. There you go. The butt thumb wrestlers. I can't believe we put that in there. That's ridiculous. Wait, All right. One? I can't believe Andre uh, Animal and, and, and Hulk didn't make S tier for the LJNs. I can't believe Razor didn't make S tier. Well, I'm okay with. I hear what you're saying, but when you look at it, it's not like crap got voted in above them either. Yeah. I think it's still, I think the rankings still feel fair at the top yeah I, i'll give you that i'll give you that i mean because there's already six s tiers and i think they're they've got the wrestling buddies jake the snake dusty you got Sheik, i'll give you that Mach. i agree you know what i mean you like can't complain I with it. i'm not gonna complain too much no it was it was i think i think the trash just makes up for the rest of the list yeah the trash uh, i'll be really, honest really, the trash was filled this Jay's comment about how we had shit toys but they were fun as hell man He's right, but they were fun as hell, dude. A and they could hurt you. I mean, they really could hurt you. Well, yeah, you, these you things are not those LJNs at somebody. You could use it as a hammer if you needed to. Like it's, you know what I mean. Like those things could do some damage. Yeah. Well, they could yeah. do damage, but not do damage. Like you could. Well, luckily... if you got mad enough and you chucked one across at a, a sibling, 
They had to do some damage. That's what I mean. You you could chuck it across it and hit like a sibling or a cousin. In my case, I had a lot of cousins. You could hit them in their face. It would hurt. But luckily, if you threw it, since it was rubberish and it hit something like the TV, the old school TVs, it might not break it. It might it just bounce might off. Not. It, it might not. It might not. It might not. Like you but might it bounce off and break something else, dude, for sure. I know. But so it was weirdly weighted, but still sort of safe. Yeah. Yeah, but you're right. That's why we should. I should have mixed it up because uh, I don't think the toys made this stuff. But whatever, because <laughs> uh, that that, that was the, whole made, the, was the the wrestling buddy, the bro crushing good. wrestling buddy, was much tougher than the wrestling buddies we had apparently. Yeah, the whole the thing about was wrestling just to talk about these toys and just have think some about fun. wrestling buddies and then put um, LJN figures in them. Like it's not a good idea, but somebody did. So. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Somebody Let's did just do this just in case. You are all in case up. you want to chit chat about anything else before we. Okay, call I do because I want to call Dub out on this. Oh, cool. Dub, tell me which match was such was the best ever because he's such a great wrestler. The best ever Ric Flair match. Which one? Ric Flair, it's not just about the matches. His matches were all the same. But he, the, what he did yeah, for he all... never did anything different. His moves were great. What he did for... Every, like, Sting versus Ric Flair. Like, literally all those matches, Sting got big with Ric Flair. Like, without... Sting Ric got Flair. big... No, hold on. Sting got big... For, for fighting the horsemen. Because two things. One, there was nobody else there. And it was... Original South Wrestling, which everybody said. So you're just, I mean, you're you're pigeonholing what you're doing here, anyways, because you're saying only real wrestling fans watch this type of wrestling, and Ric Flair came from that type of wrestling. He was garbage. I said none of those things. No, but 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 I'm just telling you the narrative that was during that. You said that. I didn't say that. No, 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 (laughs) no. But you have to agree that there was a narrative that WWF or big time wrestling wasn't real wrestling. Real wrestling. Was NWA no, I didn't wrestling. watch. I didn't watch a lot of NWA growing up. I didn't. I watched I, WWF. Yeah, I didn't. I, I was not exposed to Ric Flair until I was older, but, so I only know Ric Flair for history. I only know those Ric matches, Flair for what he did. Those Sting Four Horsemen matches were not. Flair was not good in them. He would. He it was Andy Kaufman style wrestling at best. At best. Well, I, his no, cells no, hey, weren't real no cells. They were the man Andy Kaufman. That's our intergender champion right there. Yeah, and, right. and you know, it's not Ric Flair was like the talker of talkers. He This was not a good match. This is arguably one of the worst matches well, of let's, ever. Let's, to be, to be ever. fair, Hogan wasn't a great wrestler either. Agreed. Like, they were Agreed. characters. They were great characters. Ric Flair was a great character. But but but, but character. Hulk Hogan's care Hulk Hogan would do two things. One, he'd sell because he knew he couldn't fucking wrestle. Two, he knew he couldn't wrestle. So he did everything else that he could do to make the match entertaining. Ric Flair. Ooh, that's Ric Flair. Every move. Ooh, let me chop you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, dude, what? I, You're I, just slapping somebody? Go ahead. Dub, the, go just ahead. the... Just your, the disrespect of like the tradition and the history of what Ric Flair did for wrestling. Is there is it is mind boggling. What me. what tradition and history did he do? You can't name a horseman. A I'm not talking. I'm, so he's he, a good he, manager because that's okay. what he was with the horseman. Okay, he was a manager, and the problem with that is what? Nothing. We said wrestler though. He wrestled, but he was also a manager. He was the manager. That's what he was. He was. He, and by the way, as managers, I think Bobby the Brain Heenan was better than him. Sure. I don't, oh, disagree, with that. I don't no. disagree with that either. Well, hold Jimmy, on. Yeah. yeah Jim, the mouth of the South was better than him. But he, the way he talked, the way he got people over, the way he put people over, the way he helped elevate other people's careers. So many things that he did and for wrestling and other people. I, like no, I, I said, I, I, which, I, stand up, and I, I agree with that, which is why I disagree with that. Trash, like I 100% disagree with that. What wrestler did he really put over? I mean, you want me to say Sting again? I mean, what, what, you, you could say be? Sting all you want, but Sting coming down as Crow was more popular than Sting coming he? off the fucking Beyblades or whatever the fuck party was with Austin. So that was 
Hollywood Blondes. Yeah, the Hollywood Bloods, yes. Yeah, and Sting was popular without Austin. Their flop. When he fought against the Four Horsemen for a long time to even get to the right, point. Right, but was that, he, was that not Sting? I mean, I I don't... Man called like, Sting? No, what I'm telling you was, was it was it Flair really putting him over or was it Sting? I mean, their matches are what made them both popular. I don't know, and because then he played the rate. He played... Uh, they also kind of protect him. He played the Crow, yeah, and he was meant to be the, the good, the baby face... Like I, I don't know, man. Like, go back and watch some of those matches. Flair wasn't great at wrestling. He wasn't the best manager. He the only thing that he's really good at is making up stories and telling people. And by the way, those are some of the most entertaining fucking stories I've ever heard. They are. He was those are entertaining stories. I will give you that. He is very good at telling entertaining stories. But as a wrestler and what he did for wrestling, he is overrated. But you're using different criteria. You like we just said that they're characters and they're entertainers. No, and him telling the stories, the after hour stories. He's great at those. But like the in the ring stuff, the overreaction, the hand slap, the cut. Like, dude, he got popular at one point because well, he would bleed. Because the, the they would say oh, no yeah. legends would bleed. Hold on. He got popular because no legends would cut themselves and he cut himself. That was so he would do like but really, was that that good? I don't think that that was like seeing him bleed eight buckets and his hair turning red wasn't that great. Seeing him do the oh, I'm in a suit, I'm in a suit, oh, wasn't that great? Mongo at that time was more, I thought was more entertaining than him because at least Mongo, while he's missing his shit and falling everywhere, uh, was funny. This is what I agree with. I didn't, I actually didn't care for Flair, I didn't watch him much, but I appreciate what he did. This is why. What you appreciate, what I'm asking you, if you take out the after stories Flair tells. All right, even if you take out the after stories, you have to admit the man has a, a swagger about him. He has a rub that he can give you by putting you over by losing because he has a reputation, regardless of whether you like his actual wrestling in no, no, or not. No, hold on. What I'm asking you, what person don't keep saying Sting because WCW at the time wanted Sting to be the babyface. So WCW put over Sting. Okay. What did he specifically, if you take out, and by the way, once again, his storytelling after outside of wrestling, his fabricated stories that he tells about the, the wrestling world are very fucking entertaining. I will not just as entertaining. Keep talking as about, we're not talking about, talking about stories now because I don't listen to anything now. No, 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 no. I don't I'm know talking what about when he's like saying, about. "Oh, I used to go into a bar, drink fifteen things, and set a thing on fire." Yeah, and I, I drink don't, six years. Years. Don't, don't know. I don't know. But I don't watch. That's what's about made any popular. That. That's what's made it popular. Just like Iron Sheik has become more popular because of Iron Sheik Twitter. But Iron Sheik could actually wrestle and put people over. Ric yeah, Flair. I, I started appreciating Ric Flair when NWO days. At WCW, uh, that's when I appreciated Ric Flair more. Yeah, I wasn't watching when he did as the manager WWE of the Four Horsemen. Was, was Evolution or and he wrestled? Yeah, Evolution as well with Randy. I didn't Orton. watch that. Well, he was with Orton and, between, and uh, Triple H. That was manager. I mean, that was manager. Oh, he was man that, right. What you just met the NWO era. He was managing the Four Horsemen. He, he also wrestled. wrestled. I watched him wrestle during that time. Bro, he wrestled like a couple months ago. <laughs> Yeah. He's still trying to. Play I, once again, I won't call what he does at any of those times wrestling. He would. Yeah, but that's just like saying what well, Hogan oh, did wasn't wrestling. Now. Hogan had a leg drop and a and an elbow once in a while. Off, I mean, or uh, run off from the road. Oh, I, I would agree that his. I would agree that Hogan wrestling. Still taking, so, well, it doesn't I matter. Was but Hogan was like one of the biggest people in wrestling ever because of but, the character. But 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 no, hold on. Even Flair, even Flair's gimmick. Yeah. You Flair's, don't like his gimmick, and that's okay. No, you don't have because, to like it. No, no, because he's his still gimmick, a great no, because his gimmick, his gimmick was make fun of me because it's fake. Even when it was a time where we were saying wrestling is, we all knew wrestling was fake. We didn't say it. Flair was the first person to be like, this bullshit is fake. And if you don't think it is, look at the way I act. Because I'm going to oversell stuff so bad to make sure you know that this is a fucking fake ass thing. His bleeding was all fake. His the way the chop was bullshit fake. The reaction was bullshit fake. It was fake in a time where you actually tried to make it look real. You either did two things. You either wrestled very well, which he couldn't do, or you sold the gimmick. 
he didn't sell the gimmick. He literally didn't sell the gimmick. He bullshitted the gimmick. He literally. I, what do you mean? I mean, I'll, I'll. You can think that all you want, but I don't think that's true. I think his gimmick was fantastic. I think he did a great job selling the gimmick. I think he did yeah, a great job. Wait, he wasn't wait, the best on. wrestler. No, I will never say that he was the best wrestler. There's no. Bret Hart was a much better wrestler than Ric Flair. I. That's easy. Who's the guy that you here? Who's the guy that you have that puts his hands in his pocket and does the whole match with the hands in the pocket nowadays? Orange Who Cassidy. I have, I, I know oh, his you guys name. like you guys like the guy. Yeah, you like the guy that does the pocket thing, the hands in the pocket. Um, I have yeah, seen I don't watch AEW. Yeah, I've seen that I guy don't know do what that one is. time. Yeah. Who is he? You What's brought it up. Name? Orange Cassidy. <laughs> Orange Cassidy. Okay. Yeah. You don't that know what guy. it is, but you you're bringing him up. up. I don't that's watch what I'm gonna compare, but that's what I'm gonna compare him to. That's what I'm gonna compare him to. That's Rick Flair. Somebody that we don't watch. Yeah. Well, that's Ric Flair. The whole it's, it's like not. Old, yes, it is. Mm, whatever it is. Mm, it's he not. said no, Brian. They... Okay, when you hit Ric Flair, he would literally go around in a circle like this, this in a circle. Uh, 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 uh. He he was the originator of that fake ass. Yeah, but move. if you're gonna talk about stuff like that, I mean Dusty did like would do the elbow and like and then like what is that? I mean, like same thing. The, the, no, what's the difference? No, the L, the, 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 this you is the celebration just, dance afterwards. Don't shit on people you don't like doing the same things. Yeah, they do the exact no, same thing. Like, no, he would hit somebody and then do like yeah, yeah. same thing. What's that? What does that that's, do? That's not you're rubbing oh, up your elbow slap to my face. That's what yeah. they did, and I'm you're putting on a show. I I took a slap and then I did four laps while winking at you and then fall on my face. Come on, man. There's definitely a difference between the two of those. No. And they're putting on a show. There is no difference. You just don't they're like putting him. On a show. Oh, so there's a difference in your head. But I, no, no, I just, I just, I think that all of that is no different than you hit Hulk and oh, he's shaking. Yeah, he's shaking. He's getting up. He's shaking. You guys have said it. You guys have said it. No, he here's the difference. Down. Now he's getting here's up. the difference. What show. Dub first started off saying, and I agree, is when I was watching Ric Flair growing up, and when I was watching wrestling. I did not like Ric Flair or his style because there was hold on, hold on. I didn't watch him. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. So I because it was so fake. No. But then That's afterwards, how I didn't watch him. But then afterwards, you said, "Oh, I appreciated how he was a legend and put people over." Yeah, but like, I I didn't watch NWA when I was younger because my dad didn't watch NWA. My dad watched WWF, so that's what I watched. That's the uh, only reason I watch that stuff, because of my dad. He didn't. I didn't even know what NWA was till I got older. Okay, I had no yeah. idea. It's what you said. I keep talking about Flair versus Steamboat, but I don't remember the match because the Flair versus watch. Steamboat match. Steamboat was good, but Flair was not great that match. He wasn't. Go back and watch it. He's never been good in a match. I understand because it's a oh, reputation yeah. now. But once again, in the eighties and the nineties, for most fans, Ric Flair was not till Ric Flair. Got the he's in the 90s, he was in his fucking 60s. Right, I agree. I agree. I agree. I'm not saying that, but your guys are acting like it's out of pocket for somebody who grew up with wrestling in the 80s and in the 90s to say that Flair through the 80s and 90s was insignificant in wrestling, which is a fact. He was not significant in wrestling. That's not a fact. That's just it's something you were saying. No, I don't just because you're saying it doesn't make it a fact. You're saying it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I think that's true because he's you, still you, was, you're confused by what word fact means. No, no, true facts, yeah. true fact, true fact, true fact. No. True fact. He still was a Marco name. saying it does not make it a fact. Still had 16 oh, championships fact. to his yeah. credit, like 16 it, it championships. Is what it is. That you can come whatever you want. You want to just well, who did Bruno San Martino wrestle when he wrestled? Flair, I don't know. I didn't watch that either. Steamboat, Steamboat's one of the best wrestlers. Like, every could we agree that Steamboat has the best mat, one of the best matchmakers that ever was, right? We agree Same on that. S tier, yeah. S tier as far as match makers. Mm -hmm. What high points are trial? Since you want to bring up this match, what high points were in this match? Because I can't remember one. I don't remember a lot of shit that I don't remember. Yeah, from. right. I, I haven't watched it recently, so I can't tell you. If I watch it, then maybe we can talk about it. There, this I'm sorry, hey, Zaggy, I'm not going to recap. Zaggy, I watched this when is I was it. eight years old. I agree with Zaggy on this. I agree with Zaggy on this. That's it. That is it. That's what's made Flair. Uh, what do you, Brian? You aren't even old enough. You just told us you aren't even old enough to see Flair and Steamboat. 
definitely not the best match. They're not top five. Any of his was not top five. Uh, so I, I just don't remember all that stuff. I remember bits, but most of it is. Yeah, I watched a lot of that film. stuff. So like, but that's it. Like I watched a lot of that era and I watched a lot of the, the old NWA era. So like watching that, my opinion is formative. Like Flair didn't like he wasn't like, I get what Dub's saying. Like he's a legend. But okay. you, but you, you were, you probably hated Flair as a kid because he was a bad guy. So you just didn't like him. So that's why you he wasn't like always. A, no, no, Flair wasn't always a bad guy. Flair wasn't always a bad guy. Flair, even the horsemen weren't always bad guys. Horsemen were good guys for a while there too. I mean, it, I'm actually surprised that the one thing that people should have said, and they could have gotten away with it, is they could have said because this is the best Flair. Dusty Rhodes and Ric Flair feud. That's the only time, like, that, the most ridiculous amount of wrestling you'll ever see, like, the matches are just absurdly stupid. However, they were extremely entertaining. I mean, I'm arguing against my own argument. But that that was it. That that was the only, like... I'm not going to reference something that I don't remember from when it was even before I was watching wrestling as a kid. Like, you're going to quote stuff in the 70s? I wasn't watching wrestling in the but, 70s. But, I'm uh, in the 70s. What, but that's why I'm asking. That's I guess that's where I was asking, like, if you didn't watch the old Dusty Ric Flair feud, kind of what Zaggy say. He's popular because of this and this. That's it. Yeah, I don't I don't know about any either one of those things. I, I remember when I watched Ric Flair, uh, a lot of it was from the WCW days. And he talked a lot. And he had great speeches, and he had some amazing stuff with Eric Bischoff, his feuding with Eric Bischoff, the talking. I know that was all talking, but he was manager for the Horsemen at that time. And I thought yeah. it I thought it was fantastic. I, I absolutely loved yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, okay. I, uh, that's where it is. Like, I, the, all, the best of Flair I will give you is if somebody said Dusty versus Flair. I'll give that's you that. That's because you like Dusty, but that's Very the only short. reason. No, I mean, I, it, I... Like, if you say anything Dusty, you're going to be like, oh, it's the best thing ever. No, 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 no. That's not true. Dusty sucked That's what you're going to say. Dusty sucked at wrestling. But Dusty on the mic? Dusty on the mic? Dusty on the mic was something way different. He was like, I, if you want if you want me to tell you the truth, because of I think Dusty built Flair up. Because if Dusty didn't do those mic things where he's like, I'm just a good old boy working down here, eating donuts, where that guy's over there. Son of a plumber. He's, He's yeah, son of a plumber, and he over there hooting and tooting, flying around on private jets. That all that pri- all that persona of going through town. If you go back and look at it, all the stuff that Flair later on used and said, "Yeah, man, I was rock and roll, banging chicks everywhere." All of that was Dusty Road promo that he was promoing Flair. That's what it was. It it was. So if anybody put anybody over, Dusty put Flair over. But with that. Like after it, it just became he became a mediocre manager of the four horsemen. I mean, I understand that's your opinion, but I'm not gonna agree with you. You can uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, you can sure you can say it if you want. Yeah, yeah, I'm going around right around circles. Yeah. I, I'd rather go to bed than continue this yeah, yeah, yeah. pointless right, cool. conversation. Yeah. Uh, hard times. Hard times it is. <laughs> no, I I just I just I'm glad uh I'm glad I I'm glad that you proved my point for me. So that's it. No, nobody proved your point. No, you nobody proved your point. You, you did. You did. You were 100% wrong because you like Dusty right. for the same reasons I like Ric Flair. Exactly the same reasons because they're good talkers and good entertainers. Ah, Dusty. You just said Dusty was a Dusty crappy was wrestler. You just said it. Yeah, and he was a good talker. I'm way saying out. the same thing. Ric Flair didn't, was not good at wrestling, but he was a great talker. We both did yeah, the yeah. exact same thing about the guys. We I don't think we're getting that messed up that much. Um, I mean, Dusty could make it work in fucking polka dots, though, somehow. So there you go. So you're like a chubby guy in polka dots. I look like I wear in a suit with a in a row. I just, I just really didn't like, I, like polka dots. And... I'll tell you, I I was indifferent to Flair till the bleeding stuff. Till he started doing that over bleeding stuff. That's when I disliked him. Like I didn't really dislike him till that point when he started doing cutting himself way too much and that over bleeding. That's when I was just like, okay, yeah, dude, that's like, fair. Overrated. Before that, I mean, I did like like the bits with Dusty because Dusty made him a bad guy. I liked him. He wasn't ever in my opinion great but then like the cutting himself all the time i was just like oh, i'm done with this guy this guy's annoying as crap so 
That's fair. But there's a lot of people who do like the blood and they like the Yeah, I understand people like the blood portion of it. So all right, cool. Well, it's good talking wrestling. Hopefully, uh you guys get something entertaining in WrestleMania, which I doubt there will be, but is my guy is my guy wrestling in WrestleMania? Steiner? No. I don't think so. Still? Not yet. No, he's yeah, still he kind of following the been, line between yeah. being in NXT and being called up. How many years has he Not been in years. NXT now? Uh, has it been four years? No, That's it? Didn't he still have a title in NXT? Yeah, he's got the tag titles. He's got a tag title. Who's he a tag team partner with? <clears throat> Baron Corbin. Still Baron Corbin, yeah. Who's that? He's also only like 26 or 27, so who's he's got time. What, so, what, uh, I'm just saying, he's got time. How young was, uh, what's his name's kid? Randy Orton. When he got into the... No, he was the youngest ever. He was 20... He was young as shit. Well, 25, Randy right? Was young. You mean Cowboy Bob Orton's kid? No, yeah, Randy. Cowboy Bob Orton. I was saying <laughs> Orton's kid, and then remembered the kid's name was Randy. Yeah. So Yeah, he's Randy. Yeah, Randy was young. He was, he was an anomaly, he though. He was young, but he also... I But I think the Steiner boy is... I think the Steiner boy is also... Like, those are those rare kids you see every once in a while where you're like... Oh, I, I agree. Like, I've only seen a little bit of uh, Braun Breaker, and he's yeah, Braun Breaker. He's he's so good. Yeah, no, he's, he's good. He's so good. He was in a Royal Rumble, and he's been a little bit on SmackDown, and he finally officially signed on SmackDown. But he's probably mm-hmm. gonna get bigger after WrestleMania. Good night, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they got time. It'll come up more next. Good. Year. I hope so. I mean, yeah, I, you'll probably hear more about him. Yeah, he's probably pretty good. Is Randy Orton still fighting? Or no? Yeah. Oh, does he? Yep. yep, that's not bad. He was gone for a little while. He came back. I think that he was always good. Like a year. Yeah, he we was. Sure he, he was gonna come back he's a good gimmick. Who else? Did, who else? Do they have there that I know. Who's 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 in the main event? It's probably gonna be uh, Cody and Roman Reigns. Yeah, Cody and Roman, and then Seth and Drew McIntyre. Uh, yep. Nope. Don't care. Sammy and Gunther the, on on Monday. Or I'm what sorry, are the big? Saturday. Oh, is it a two day thing again? Yeah, two days. Yeah. It's always Who's the been ever since COVID. Who's the big tag team? Uh, it is. It's a, a six man, six team ladder match. Yeah, they're doing a six, yeah, it's a huge ladder match thing. But That's who? how they're going to split the titles up because they've had the titles together uh, for a while. Now. Oh, there's two different tag team titles. Yeah, yeah. one for each show. Oh, well, but for they've been together for the past. But they've been together since. The, who holds them right now? It is. Who has them? The Judgment Day. Yeah, Finn well, Balor and Damian Priest. Who you probably don't know. I don't know them. Um, is there anybody else exciting there? Are they what old time are they bringing back? What I mean, everybody's person? rumored to be coming back. So, oh, The Rock, <laughs> yeah. Well, he's yeah, The Rock's, yeah, The Rock's there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's rumors of like Steve Austin and Cena coming popping in and Hulk Hogan popping. Can in, Steve but... Austin? Can Steve Austin take a bump anymore? I thought if he, he did it like two years ago, yeah, two years ago, two years yeah. ago, he did against Kevin Owens. Cena lost too much weight. Can he come back? Yeah, he lost a lot. He was there last year. And hair. He wrestled, wasn't... Yeah, he was losing the hair. Oh, he lost yeah. a lot of hair? Yeah, yeah, he put over Austin, uh, Austin Theory. Well, hey, man, I, I didn't watch a ton of Cena, but I'll tell he you this. He wrestled this year. He, he had wrestled it. in he had Saudi it. Arabia not that long ago. Cena was yeah. really good. He, he They're probably going to roll the Undertaker back out because they love that shit. That um, he might show up, but he ain't wrestling. He can't wrestle. Yeah, no. Yeah, he says he's done. And Triple H is not wrestling either. <laughs> Got goddamn robotic heart. Who, yeah, Triple who H. Was done. Who is that? Triple H does. Triple H. Oh. He's got the he got the heart issues. I think he's got like the what? pacemaker. Does anybody ever bring up what happened to HBK's teeth? No, we don't see HBK much. Okay. Yeah, he he was in charge of NXT for a while. I mean, he is still technically, I think, in charge, but they switched him. His on camera work is now the Rock's daughter is doing it. That's no. the GM, which is kind of silly. Yeah, The Rock's daughter is GM because she couldn't wrestle, and then The Rock's mother. Was that the one that was hurting people? Was that the one that was hurting people? No, that's Nia Jax. No, that's no, Nia Jackson. And she got better, actually. Yeah, yeah. she did. Okay, do, do you guys? Okay, I watched this kid wrestle a couple times, and I thought it was. I didn't think it was that good. What do you think of Ray Mysterio's kid, Dominic? Oh, Dom, he's he's not not good, right? He's not a good wrestler. No, he's not a good wrestler. He's but he is. A uh, heat magnet. People, yeah, he's he's got a good gimmick. Everybody hates him. He doesn't oh. have to do anything. They just 
hate him. He just, just like mic, he puts the mic right here, and everybody starts booing. Everybody, the whole, the entire stadium boo him. And I'm so, sure they pipe some of it in, but it's, it's not all fake. Because the guy that wears the, uh, what the hell kind of scarf is it? I really liked him. He's good on the mic. Ask Scott, uh, you talking about Chris Jericho? No, fuck, fuck, Chris <laughs> fuck horrible. Uh, you were at that. Uh, no, who's the guy that wore the scarf? Um, scarf. He'd wear a scarf, and he'd always act like he's better than everybody. He's a great heel. Great heel. Oh, MJF. Um, that's also AEW. Yeah. Oh, that's not WWF? Yeah, he, no. Well, he apparently, he supposedly has no contract right now, so hmm. he could potentially Did they, did they up, but... finally get rid of the, 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 the worst thing ever, the fake dude, the fake bomb dude? What's his name? Pepsi Boy. Who? Pepsi Boy. The Pepsi tattoo guy. Oh, CM, Punk? CM Punk? Yeah. No, he's he like hurt. Big, yeah, he's the biggest thing. Like even when he's not wrestling, yeah, they still love him. Did the ratings go up like like crazy? Even when he just shows up to talk. They, they did have. I mean, you'll you'll laugh, Marco, and say, "Oh no, yeah. no, no!" They did have him, Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, and CM Punk had a little uh, verbal soiree, verbal sparring <laughs> in the ring, and yeah. it was it was fantastic. It was the one really guy, cool. McIntyre, that's the guy that used to walk around with that big ass sword. Yep. Yeah. He doesn't still do that dumb shit, does he? Uh, no, because Vince, it was Vince McMahon's sword, so like Vince McMahon's gone, so I'm sure he took a sword with him. Yeah, he, he hasn't done oh, the sweet. sword thing anymore. That guy has talent. The, the yeah. guy with the sword has a lot of talent. He just, He's also that not gimmick... bad on the mic. He's been ripping CM Punk. He's been yeah, CM Punk. no, I mean, like, talent overall as a wrestler, no, that know, guy has talent. The yep. problem with it is they hillbilly, they they did the honky-tonk man with him. Like, what the fuck are oh, you yeah, doing? that, was, that was so long ago. They and... gave him a sword and shit, like, so stupid. Like, just a dumb gimmick. Again, th since Vince McMahon's been gone, things have gotten like astronomically better. Yeah, story wise, who else people, besides characters go? Who else besides that that the McIntyre guy would you say was the biggest change around character that they got rid of his gimmick and go with? Um, what do you mean that have gotten better since gotten Vince better left? since yeah. Vince left? Yeah, I think uh, like storylines in general have gotten better. They've done they actually like tell them. Yeah, they actually tell stories and like take stories to and like see them through, and they're not just for right. like a week. They'll they'll let them breathe and, and come back. Drop. Yeah, they'll actually take people off of television and give them a break and bring them back when they have something for them to do. So it's not just too many pointless things going on. Cool, which is kind of nice. I like. I mean, I said this like to Pete before, but I like uh, Logan Paul. I know yeah. he's a YouTube guy. And but whatever, he, but he's, he, a, he's playing a great heel. He's like, a he, great he, heel. He's right. He, he's yeah. generating heat the right way by just so good. being him. I didn't he, like him he, when he, when I first when he first showed up. Like, oh, they got another celebrity coming doing this stuff, like Bad Bunny, blah blah blah. Yeah, and at first he wanted to be a face, so they tried yeah. to push him, and yeah. it wasn't working. Then he embraced that the fans were booing him, and it works out so much better for him. Too. And I think you would like Gunther as well. He's the okay. Intercontinental Champion. I think I think you would like him. I might try. Yeah, I what, think he's good. Do you? Can I ask you a question now? Because they we brought up Pepsi Boy. You guys don't believe that the the speech that he gave. I know a lot of slappies do, but you guys don't believe that that speech was not staged, right? Which speech are we talking about? The, the pipe, pipe, actual pipe yeah, bomb. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was staged, but like some of the things he said were probably not okay for yeah, him to he say. He probably. Improper. He brought up their children and things like that, and I don't think that they okayed that ever. Yeah, shit. He like I was saying just recently, he tried to bring up Vince McMahon, but it was kind of funny. Yeah, he yeah he tried to force him to say it. He, he tried to like, force Drew McIntyre yeah. to say Vince McMahon's name. Yeah, but we yeah. know it's a no no. He pushes he pushes boundaries he of what he's allowed to, to say. It. See, I funny. see. I think that it was. I think and just because if you ever watch it, there's like three points where, well, not three. There's a bunch of points where. When you when you think there was stuff that he is not allowed to say, the camera, the camera angle that they use on him is it goes right to front facing, so you can see that it's not lipped in. You can see that's not anything else. Like they pull it up, and if they how that gorilla chair works, if they didn't know what he was going to say next, just in case they had to edit it or something else. They would have pulled side panel on a couple things because there's just a couple times they they signed out the, uh, the the side shots, but like a lot of the stuff that they say, like if it wasn't a gimmick, they wouldn't have used the camera angles that they used, and like the whole thing about like it def they definitely knew what was 
at least they knew what was going on. They knew that it was going to be something similar. Again, I think that, but I think exactly that's the thing. I think the point yeah. was they knew he was going to go in that area, but he might have still had. But you know, with the kid area, like at least you know, if it's yeah, dead shot probably, on. They, they don't pull. They don't pull the side thing or like. There's ways before that they have clipped mics, kind of like yeah, they shut the mic off. They shut the mic off before that. I don't know yeah. if it was the same speech they did, but that was the one I'm talking about where he brought up Triple H's and Stephanie's kids, and that was also the mic. About at the time, I really wasn't watching. Oh, I'm not that, that, yeah. No, I went back and watched it. I went back and watched it. Yeah, so maybe bringing up their kids. I thought you meant McMahon's kids, not Stephanie. no, no, no. He brought up Stephen huh. uh, Paul. Uh, th- dude, th- hey, there was a lot, Matthew. They didn't shut off a lot. There was like there was a lot of stuff on there, and then even when they, they like, if they really shut it off, they would have stopped the main ca- like you would stop the main camera, like you just and go to commercial or something. Yeah, yeah, you just stop the main camera. They didn't stop the cameras. They've done it before. They've definitely done it before on a lot of things. They've stopped the main camera and gone on it. And they chose yeah. not to do that. So um, you saw Coco was alive. Damn. <laughs> wow. HBK is in the NX. Jesus. He's running it. Yeah. Oh, he's a, no, he's I thought he said he's in it. Okay. He's yeah. like Triple H used to run NXT. Triple H now moved up. HBK is now running NXT. In do they still do they still have that Paul? Hey, you know what? I never liked and I know people really did, but. Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman. And now I don't, I can't say that I watched a ton of it, but I did sample that. I never liked Brock Lesnar. I just thought it was another Goldberg esque type gimmick, right? Uh, I get what you're saying. But when Brock came back, they let him have more of a character and he was actually kind of entertaining. Oh, really? Okay. As a it face. was definitely, yeah. He didn't have Heyman anymore because Heyman was with Roman and he was more like a country boy who was kind of goofy. He was actually kind of funny at times. Did you guys did you guys like what what did they call them? Was it the legis legacies or there's a there's a time where uh Orton was the legend killer, right? Right. Yep. Did you like that whole bit? Legend killer? Like when they were bringing back like the old farts. Well, they brought back the old farts in what it was during COVID just so they gave them something to do and they had Randy beaten up on some of those old dudes. That was yeah, one was of them. With I would, McIntyre, I'd think. be very careful on. No, that's Jake him. Paul. Jake that's Paul, not Jake, Logan yeah. Paul. Yeah, that's his brother. I'd be very careful on how hard you punch Mike Tyson because he does right. punch back. He <laughs> yeah. punches wow. back. Man, there's a I don't know. There was some clip I saw on IG or something. They showed Mike Tyson at 16, and they showed him like early like fights and practicing, and then Jake Paul who's like dancing in front of the camera. <laughs> Like doing some choreographed dances. Mm-hmm. I'm Crazy. not saying that Jake Paul. I mean, at this point too, like I, Mike Tyson gives zero. Mike Tyson's in his fifties, but he, I still but don't he want gives, to take a punch from him. He get, no, but he also gives zero shit. So if you want to pay him off, he would take a dive. I don't think he gives a shit. I mean, he doesn't probably. Give a shit he, he sees all. I mean, another tiger. Time. Yeah, so I think you could easily pay him off. But I mean, that's what they're gonna do. That, that's. I would, yeah, I would I mean, guess it, that they're, they're going to pay him off. It's just like that time I was in that, that fucking bar that had the boxing match in the little... You can do as much as you want, but I would not punch that man in the face. Because if you do, he might just knock you the fuck out just for shits and giggles, no matter how much money it costs. Because Mike Tyson hasn't always made the best decisions. Or the most, or the right. most uh, profitable decisions. <laughs> right, for himself. Yeah. yeah. Remember, remember the thing. If you haven't heard the story before of him and Fat Joe and and, and uh, Big Pun, the the one tidbit that a lot of people don't tell. Do you guys know a story I'm talking about? Fat Joe and Big Pun were outside of the tunnel, which is a famous nightclub, and it was a famous also for a lot of violence in New York, like lots of violence. So they would check people's shoes for knives and stuff in the shoes. Big Pun was a very uh, heavy rapper, like weight wise. He yeah. didn't want to take off his shoes. He pulled that fucking Donnie Brasco bullshit. He probably just washed it. I'm not going to take off my shoes. I'm not going to take off my shoes. Joe even admits, like, he's like, listen, all the bouncers are here. Like, they told him, like, pun, just calm the shit down. And he wouldn't. He started getting loud. All the bouncers come. And they're like, all right, they're going to fuck up Big Pun and Joe at the time. And all of a sudden, Big Pun says, I don't give a shit. Fuck these guys. And Mike Tyson, out of prison, Mike Tyson, 
is behind them. And he's like, fuck yeah, Joe, fuck these guys. And Mike Tyson starts to chase the bouncer around the car to beat his ass off, which sounds funny. But what they don't tell you is not only did Mike Tyson chase this and the, and the bouncer's crying, hey, Joe, hey, pun, please, man, please get Mike off me. Please, please don't let him. What they don't tell you is Mike Tyson took his shoes off. So Mike Tyson's in dirty ass New York street running the fuck around after this dude in socks to beat his ass. He's in socks chasing this motherfucker around cars to beat his ass. If you don't understand what I'm saying, what type of mentality do you have to be in that you're not, you're going to beat the shit out of somebody, but you're not even going to put your shoes back on. You are going to run around in socks. And by the way, you took your shoes off and you're going to run around in socks to beat the shit out of a bouncer for no other reason than like somebody who just do it. Said, yeah, yeah, to just do it. Is the game an excuse to do it? He just needed a reason. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you for my Tyson impression. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like that is, that's the guy that you're going to get into the ring with is the guy who took off his shoes and then didn't put him back on and chased the bounce around the car. So I will warn you, Jake Paul. Well, I don't give a shit. And Jake Paul doesn't give a shit either. Man, I don't, I don't know, know who Jake it. Paul is. Couldn't probably tell the difference between the two. I know he's a blonde haired kid. Uh, he's the guy that wears a Pokemon card around his neck. That's no, that's Logan. Part. Oh, really? I thought it was Jake. Yeah, yeah. Well, Charizard 10.0. Yeah, uh, Logan word into WrestleMania. Oh, dang it. And I don't shoulder. know which one's which. You're right. I don't know which His one's His brother is a little shorter than him and has like... I don't watch any of that like nonsense. Scott Con to me. Yeah. Like a younger Scott Con. But I will warn them that... I will warn Probably whoever... from Varsity Blues, if you guys don't know what I'm about. <sighs> do you, I kind of I kind of do want to see Mike knock somebody out, though. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing it. If, I kind of want to see him really knock somebody out. I like, hope, I hope like he does. Day. I really hope he does. I will tell you this: like, I I, I love the like the days of uh, Ali. I I really love you know you used to have class ESPN Classic, and you used to get all the boxing fights. You get to see like the whole lineup with Ali. Fuck that! I remember just watching Tyson. But but like, as I was doing late, that, I was late watch Tyson. But that's what I was doing. Ding, ding, so, Michael Spinks done. All right, my dad, <laughs> my dad would be like this, and I'd be like, "Let's watch Tyson," and he hated it. And he, for some reason, he didn't like the Tyson stuff because it wasn't really, it, in my dad's opinion, it wasn't a real boxing match. It wasn't a lot of strategy. He just knocked the fuck out. Yeah, he just knocked people. But I loved watching Tyson just one two punch people do that. Just it was so amazing him just knocking dude out all the time. He's fifty eight. Yeah, I know. He he said fifties. He kind of he is closer to sixty. Uh, mm -hmm. But, dude, like, I appreciate, like, I don't think people appreciate how good of a boxer George Foreman also was. And I will, if you recall, it is funny, but Foreman did get back in the ring to Lion King at one time as he's selling 50,000 Foreman grills already. Yeah, with um, seven kids named George. Seven, Yeah, George, including the girls. But that man could still throw a punch. I want to see. I... I really would love seeing uh, Tyson throw. I, you don't got to throw 20. Throw one punch. I want him to throw one actual it takes. punch. Because in that match, Foreman was just effing around, and then Foreman threw one punch. And I was like, oh, shit. That's like break the speed. Like, you can see why. People might not know this about Foreman, but like when Foreman was training, especially against uh, Ali, right, like, Ali was one of the greatest Mike people, but like one of the things uh, that people overlooked was Foreman, the punching, they had to keep replacing the punching bags that Foreman with the heavy bags back then. because yeah, he had this power punch that would like, le Huge. like knock the stuffing, knock the fucking beads out of the heavy bag, bro. Like, so they had yeah. to replace it. Yeah. Like <laughs> he was a knock the he shit was a out of him. Dude. Yeah. He would knock the shit out of him. So like when he was 50, was he 52 in that fight in the Lion King fight? I think so. When he came back, yeah, and yeah, he did that pop. Sounds Holy about right. Shit. Holy shit! I mean, so him at fifty something, and then Mike at, at almost sixty. I don't give a shit. Mike at sixty hitting somebody like that's yeah. I'd enjoy that. Anyways, all right, we got. I gotta go. Sweet yeah, time. we got. We gotta go because otherwise, I want to start talking more boxing. We get to yeah, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. Yeah, <laughs> have a plan until you, until you pit. remember like. One more thing about Tyson and the biting of the ear thing. 
do remember, it wasn't like it was one fucking headbutt. And it also wasn't like he didn't tell the referee what was going on. The referee pretty much told him, so what? What are you going to do about it? And Tyson Tyson showed you what he's going to do about it. He's going to bite the fucking ear off, lose a couple million dollars, and call it a fucking day and get suspended for anywhere. So, all right. Take it easy, guys. Thank you for everybody that hung out. All right. See you guys later, I guess.